the window that yeah, we look through, because, right? Okay, who makes the decisions? Yeah, it's a doctor, doctor ultimately. Yeah, who's the one that charges you? But there are times where yeah, nurses so you have that. that yeah, so nurses can association. make decisions, right? If you yes, have yes, yes. to. Oh yes, yes, we make a lot of decisions. Like doctor, not here. Fuck it, do it. <laughs> oh yes, 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 we make. A, uh, we nice. don't say that. Oh, sorry, 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 but. <laughs> Welcome back to Yamcha Sessions. Today we have Nita. No audio, right? Huh? Yeah, I just uh, no. Sometimes it just it's like the some problem, like the wiring issue. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So yeah. but I can hear you this way. So I don't necessarily need to hear you this way, right? Actually, the only reason why we have headphones is so that we don't over talk each other. I, are you? Can you hear? Ah, okay. Ah, it, now I can. Okay. Sometimes it just goes on on and off. Yeah. We have to change the thing down there, lah. But yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um. I got your contact from John Ho mm-hmm. actually just like I think two or three days ago. Yeah. So thank you for coming over and having a conversation with us. Yes. How do you how do you know John uh, actually? Okay, so his condominium is going through some renovation at the uh, badminton uh, court. So uh, I play badminton at uh, Bangsa, uh, Bangsa Sports Com- uh, like Complex. Complex. All right. Uh, every 8 to 10 p.m. Okay. I'll be there. So uh, it was the first time he had come. So oh. yeah, I was like, okay, then we were chatting, then I was listening to him, I was talking to friends and all that. I was like, okay, then we met, they say, hey, hi. Oh. He said, what do you do? So I said, yeah, I, I train CPR, you know, I'm a nurse. And like, oh, okay, I know this uh, Jonathan and <laughs> Poige. Sarah. He, he said, he said Poige, is it? <laughs> he said Poige. <laughs> <laughs> this John, opportunist Max, la, this fella. Yeah. Okay, okay. So he says, oh, it's very interesting what you do. What, you know, not many people know. I said, yeah, most people usually look. Uh, to send their children to do medicine, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. engineer or something, like that, or pharmacy. Yeah. Nursing is not really looked as uh, a right. career growth. But, but it's a savage career nonetheless, man. You guys work long hours, man. I, mm. I think I only know two nurses. Really? Yeah, one is Auntie Chok, a lady who raised us. Ah. Yeah, she was our neighbour. And then um, I know my friend Lashwin has a girlfriend and she also is a nurse. Okay. From what I can I know. And it's a really like taxing career yeah. path, man. Yeah. I guess like in any job, you have to have the passion for it. Mm. Oh, it, it your it, one is it, a lot of passion, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, it, it's anything. I mean, like doing this, you have a passion for it. True, you, you like true. it, so it doesn't become a job. In a way, yeah. yeah. In a way, because you yeah. forget about how yeah. all the little things make up how stressful it is. Exactly. Because you like it, right? Mm. Okay. But well, it's the environment then. Uh, but the environment makes it very stressful. How, how long have you been a nurse already up till up today? Oh. 24 years. God oh. damn, for life. What? Holy shit. 24 years. Yeah. So I did my nursing. She looks 24, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you look so young. That's what? Yes. <laughs> she does look 24. Serious, yeah, man. Yeah, Your yeah. genetics Honestly. are incredible. Really? Yeah. It's an wow. Indian thing, I think. Life I just insane. look young. I'm not even doing this like to be <laughs> nice. I just, I swear, I've seen girls that just, or guys that just look 40, like myself. But I'm only like 30. <laughs> <laughs> you think he looks 30? Yeah. Yeah, right. How about, how about, um, uh, how about him? No, 28. Oh, 28. 29. Oh, also young. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm hitting 30 this year. Yeah. So how about me? Yeah, about 27, 28. I think if I shave, I look younger. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. So what, 24? Yeah. No, I'm 30 years so. old. 30. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Aww. Hey, what, that's, that's a bum thing. Oh. <laughs> He goes, he's got a baby face. What? what? Still really? 18 years I, old? I, I think you are already his favorite uh, la. guest. La. <laughs> already his favorite guest. What's oh. the guest? 26? 26. Oh. Wow, on the money. Yeah. yeah, 27 this year, but still 26. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. We're brothers. We're three years old. Bro, oh. you are almost as whole as a career, bro. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah you've done nursing almost as long as I've been alive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why nursing? Wait, what Amma said before you go into nursing? Like, what Amma said? Amma said, finally. <laughs> finally? <laughs> Hello, okay. Get a job. And Get out. Yeah. I was like, I got my wings, you oh. know, because um, you see, nursing, the, at the moment, there are two ways to do it. You can either be sponsored by a hospital. Oh. So you, then you're uh, considered, you have a job after that. Mm. Some people think it's like shackles in your ankles because the minute you're contract bound, right. You can't go anywhere. But no I, for me, especially with current times, you've got a job. That's you know? true. Yeah? That's true. That's so true. you do your diploma for three years and then you're bonded with a hospital. So I last see. time I was bonded for five years. Oh. But now the contract can go up to even seven years. Wow. So you get bonded. So but quite secure la, in a way, right? Yeah. And then they have an option to renew your contract. Yeah, but the trend is um, this generation, one year, two year, they jump. Because it's very similar to what? People buy. Yep. Buy your contract. Charlene, right? 
Uh, a little bit. Of course, we had a dentist. She bounded herself with the government for 10 years. Ah, yes. And the government said, you can quit anytime. Yep. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. She's now still bounded. Oh, okay. Yeah, 10 years. Is, is it medical practitioners just in general have to bound themselves with government? Or it depends what's the sponsorship agreement about. So mm. if you... Uh, they are like... I had uh, colleagues who were sponsored by a government uh, uh, facility. Yeah. And her contract was basically broken down. That means, uh, it, say... I'm bonded for sixty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, even I, if I don't finish the last day of that contract, I'm still, I still have to pay sixty thousand. But for her, uh, being uh, under the government, uh, it was prorated. So her three years is ten thousand per year. So she stopped up, uh, when she didn't serve her third Very year bonus, so, and then, then it's just the amount that you are. Ah, even yeah. Okay, so you know it's very different. I'm gonna dial back a a, a step Style back, back right? I'm gonna yeah. I'm thinking in John's yeah, line, you know, right? I'm gonna dial back. How how what did you actually study when you were young? Did you always know like you know what? I'm gonna be a nurse. Nah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it was more medicine. Oh, okay. uh, it was more I medicine. Um, I guess I grew up with rescue nine one one. You know. Oh, you oh, guys heard TV. the show? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine one one. I know. I know. Okay. Yeah. And it's like the same era as cops in a yes. way, right? Yeah. Uh, Robert Wagner. Reg- yeah. Robert Wagner, right? Yeah. yeah. So, rescue nine one one. That's how he says it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Google. Okay. Okay. That would okay. Help. Okay. Um, you do not mind your language. I mind my language. Okay. I, you want to curse? Can curse. I, I already okay. actually said fuck you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are all the yesteryear yeah. shows, right? Uh. Okay, so Rescue 911 was basically how paramedics... Uh, 911 is like our 999, right? Mm. So you get called up, 991, and then you go and rescue. So that kind of... Um, you like that rush, is it? I like that rush. Uh, <laughs> Bro, I think she watched CSI Miami and all this. Uh, that's forensic, which is my other passion. I, oh, I do like Pat- Patricia oh, Conwell, so that's very interesting. Um, I had a student when I'm uh, looking for sponsorships. So this uh, girl came in to be interviewed for her to do sponsorship because uh, that's one of my uh, portfolios last time. And she's interested in forensic nursing. So I managed Forensic to nursing? Yeah, we, ha- uh, we don't have it. I have it in Malaysia, but in Australia and other parts, there is. Wow. Like someone dies of medication error. Oh. And also you, you can actually go... Trace back as yeah, to... So wow, cool. that's... Oh. If it was available in Malaysia, I would definitely go into it. Um, but this girl was so interested to do forensic. And I was like, okay, no, 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 no. But she said nursing. Then I said, know the living first. Then when you go into forensic... Then you know the... Then you know not the, the dead. Not living. Yeah. So then you know <laughs> the, the dead better. Know the living, then the dead or something. Know the living first and then you will know yeah. the date. Oh, that's some Dota 2 stuff, babe, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, darling, back, I follow your, your lead there. Um, so, that kind of started off the, the This was thing. in secondary, primary school. Yeah, so it was either doctor. I think, it, uh, I don't know if they still do it nowadays, but they ask you to write your three. Yeah, 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 your ambition. Do. Doctor, accountant, engineer. Yeah, but right. then you're Asian, so default is accountant, doctor or engineer. Yeah, default. so <laughs> mine was doctor, police and veterinarian. Whoa, vet yeah. also. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Still still hit the checkbox. But this was in yeah. high school, uh, in school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. when they asked, that, I was like, okay. Um, and then um, towards SPM, it was... Then the choice of doing SDPM. And oh. then what? Yeah, yeah. You but know. you took science stream, la, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be so. Eh. It's not a thing I just asked on you. Eh. Um, yeah, uh, basically, you can have arts also. As yeah, long yeah. as you're, uh, you've are you got a foundation la. in science subjects, so yeah. that's fine. You don't have to have biology as per se. You can oh. have science. Uh, that, oh, that's okay. fine also, yeah. Um, interestingly, um, uh, the government did raise, uh, sorry, did decrease the requirement into nursing. Oh. So last time, we had to have five credits right. with a credit in maths and science. That's a minimum requirement. And English. Not BM. Uh. And English as well. Yeah, so because our our books are all, you know, English. English, uh, yeah. UK based, you know. Yeah. I mean, we right. learn maths, uh, literally learn nursing and, and medicine English. together. And then at one point, there was a heavy sh- shortage of nurses and they dropped it down to a pass in either science and maths. Then I they dropped it down further to a pass in science or maths. Wow. So now what's that? What's and what's now it's back to five credits. Oh, okay, okay. okay thank okay. God. Thank yeah, the Lord. because <laughs> it created a surplus. But you, uh, I mean, I had, um, I had students that were struggling. ENP, anatomy and physiology. Mm. Uh, literally, 
struggling you know gall bladder and urine bladder you know pundi kencing and pundi yeah, hempudu you know it was getting confused in the you know physiology of micturition so oh, yeah. yeah you confused that holy uh, shit oh, because so, it's just language you know? oh, yeah okay. it's language because you have to see that when you come up into nursing you've got to have some foundation foundation you know uh, one language is you have yeah. to master you, you're going to read Ross and Wilson's, which is one one yeah. of the famous anatomy books. Oh, it's the one in the bookstores with that guy, and then he's like removed the skin, and he's like, is it AOT? Yeah, like like. <laughs> okay. Especially okay. with now with um, uh, I mean, if, if you're talking about AOT, you're talking about Attack on Titan. It's an anime reference. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> okay no, I, I I thought I hit the <laughs> jackpot. Never, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> AOT. Okay, there's a lot of initials and abbreviations in medicine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We just continue. Wait, I need to know what is AOT in medical term right now. Yeah, what's AOT? Okay, AOTA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, AOTA is your actually your uh, wild, bro. AOTA, right? Bro, I'm no fucking. One. I I'm not very good in my and and the largest artery. In the oh oh. oh the Vena cava the, lah. I thought our aorta is the heart. I one, thought right? was the heart one. Right. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's, it's, linked it's your heart. connected it's the to one of. Right, yeah. that, that, I think there are four quadrants, right? Yeah, right. Ventricle. The Ota is the largest one. Yes, if I'm not uh, mistaken, lah. Salodara. What? Wait, I thought it was. Bro, I swear it was in our side. textbook, bro. Oh, it yes, was, uh, it okay. Would be there. All right. So it's, it's good to know. I still remember, <laughs> lah. I'm just deceiving you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, yeah, she scared me for a moment, bro. <laughs> it's like a teacher, like oh, I'm sorry, teacher. I, know, I didn't get my answer. But the aorta right. is one of the largest blood vessels. Is the most, uh, I would say, like strongest blood vessel, yeah, right? It because it. Uh, it it, it the supplies the blood to the whole body, body from yeah. the left ventricle. So you're right, four quadrants. Mm. So it's the left ventricle, the aorta, and then out to the whole body. Mm. Mm. Cool, cool. You no, know, I want to throw a curveball. Nothing related. Why sure. do people suicide? They cut these veins, ah? Yeah, it's not a vein. It's oh. uh, your artery. So you got veins and arteries, yeah. right? Uh, then sorry, they join artery, to the artery, capi- yeah. capillaries, right? So the artery is basically where uh, blood goes. Blood, blood would come um, out. Like come it out. comes to the. And okay. So if you yeah. cut it out, then blood keep coming out, lah. Yeah, bro. exactly. So the radial artery is here. But the oh. question is, why here? Right? Why not here? That's your pulse. You know where you take your pulse. Yeah. Ah, that's exactly where you. Sh- uh, you sh- <laughs> don't you shouldn't. You know, but you, know. you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the part. But I do not support suicide. Yeah. This is yeah. the most efficient. You know what? Let's not talk about this. <laughs> what I say is the most Maybe efficient crazy. way to suicide. Not really. Oh, really? Not really. I think your neck would probably be more. Yeah. Efficient. I think you cut yeah. your neck. You die straight, right? Yeah. That's the point. Because of exsanguination. I mean, heavy loss of blood. Yeah, oh, so then you start to pass out. Bro. You start to pass out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but suicide is just actually a re- if a person really wants to commit suicide, then they would really you know make that way. But a person that attempts suicide, there are other things. That there is a reason why. I mean, they are calling out for help. They need someone. Yeah. There is you know they just think life is so futile that there is no options. So if a person does do that, it. it it's not that you way like that. and and our 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 Malaysian system is is actually criminalized. Oh. Yeah. So suicide, you know, you can be charged. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. So Wait, so because it's illegal, right? Yeah. You're technically breaking the law by committing suicide. You better Which die, bro. If not, really you need to suffer again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but the thing is, you see that that's where the the support has to come in. You know, uh, depression is very silent. You know, one in four, one in five people will have some depression at some sort in one part of their lives. Yeah, yeah we all go through it. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I feel so a little bit. That's radial artery for you. Okay. That's where you take your pulse. Yeah, don't do that, guys. Okay. Radial artery. <laughs> Okay, cool. What are we talking about? We were, we were going how she went into nursing and yeah, I yeah, threw yeah, a curve yeah. ball. So oh, because yeah, they were comparing fine. the wundi, the, the yeah, kenching. So yeah, yeah, th- yeah. That's the struggle, uh, you know. But uh, now that we are back uh, to pushing credits and, mm. you know, uh, nursing has to come up. It, it, it's still, like you said, you, you know two nurses, you see. But it's in, not a lot. Yeah, it's, yeah. I know 50 accountants. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's not f- mainstream. You're my first nurse. Oh, okay. Is it? Yeah, that you know lah. That I know of. Wow. Okay. I Damn. very rare. I, I same know. for me in Malaysia, right? Yeah, yeah. It's I know many nurses in America. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. I think it's just not glorified in Malaysia, right? Nursing. Yeah, yeah. I guess there's a. Um, I wouldn't say overshadowed, but I would say that uh, nurses themselves have to lift themselves up to a certain point. Yeah. Um, and like I said about passion, the environment. So sometimes the environment creates, um, you know, a, such a. 
how it's like I a family like system because you're all together all yeah. the time and you spend a lot of time in the hospital we literally live in the hospital yeah, because man. we uh, okay so our shifts can be from 7 a.m to 2 p.m but usually when you work 7 to 2 by the time you pass report and you uh, finish your writing uh, and documentation and data and then someone say hey, you didn't fill up the io chart you didn't do this and then by the time it's already 4 30 Mm. And sometimes without lunch, you go you all know, in. we can literally carry our bladders throughout the whole day, yeah. you know, and without Which eating. Which is not, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> then we tell the patient, "Have you passed urine?" <laughs> wow. we're holding our bladders. <laughs> okay, wait, you talking about this? I want to ask. Now, now I see you guys in a different light. <laughs> you pass urine, like have you? <laughs> <laughs> literally, exactly. The body is capable of like you know, if you don't drink water so many times, the body will reuse the water that you have until to a certain extent, right? Yeah. So Something? that's your yeah. It's a, it's a real within question. the bladder but that's what I'm asking but you're dehydrated oh uh. yeah so um, yeah so you lose you don't have saliva right you, you get dry mouth um, yeah. you know uh, so yeah but Literally, they reuse the um, it, it's minimalizing a lot of things the physiology uh. of the body in order to sustain oh. yeah so Fascinating. the body is mm. very interesting yeah. it, it, it's how we compensate to survive it's an adapting like system it's so that's really system. interesting yeah, yeah. We, we we have to go back to the to the whole <laughs> education. Sauce, bro. This is definitely sauce, but yeah, we'll get to I'm that so in a bit. Man. We'll get to that in a bit. But if we go back to your education, right? So yeah. I'm assuming you did your STPM. You no. didn't. So I did SPM. Okay. Uh, my other science subjects are not fantastically strong. It's okay. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> but Neither is mine. The, the the main thing was that um, I had bio and maths, mm-hmm. and um, uh, there is an entrance, so you just go and do some. Calculations, uh, like I said, you have sponsorship hospitals. Yeah. Yep. So you got um, when I apply, they just okay, you know, come in for the interview, uh, and then I was sponsored um, by uh, Saint Abi Medical Center. Oh, so I was sponsored this by a hospital. Nice this bro. is right after SPM. Yeah. Wow, you just come out of SPM and then you can ask. Yeah. For so, okay. so imagine coming out as a nurse at twenty years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yes. So you you kind of like. Face life up front immediately, and then you have to, um, you know, meet people. It's very front facing, man. You know, and, and we you. meet elderly, we meet uh, yeah, the young, uh, the young, we like meet everyone. parents, we meet uh, couples. So, uh, there is this, um, you have to just dive in. Uh, you know, so you'd here you're going to go and tell a 45 year old man, say, hey, um, you know, uh, smoking, you know, we need to look at it or, you know, vaping, you know. So, but imagine you are 20 or you're 23 or 25. You're, you're innocent to the world, man. Yeah. So, uh, so it's, you have to keep your knowledge up, you know, as nurses, you have to bring that profession forward. Yeah, man. Yeah. You but went into Saim Dabi Hospital. Hey, hey, sorry. They sponsor you, right? Ah, so, so there's a, f- a lot of hospitals now that do that. Uh, in order to um, sustain their nursing manpower. Uh, so one of it is Sain Dabi. So I was um, trained, sense. yeah, Sain Dabi Medical Center. Um, they sponsored me and wow. I got sponsored to Lamuai Penang. <laughs> oh, you're damn happy. Loved, loved it. Like <laughs> loved it, bro. <laughs> For this how time long? I saw Komta. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For how long? Okay, so the the diploma is for three years. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, so for Sorry. three years. So um, I d- I, the way I looked at it, I didn't want to be... Um, uh, because some sponsored hospitals have their own training school. Mm. Sign Dabi now has their own Ramsey Sign Dabi Nursing School. Uh, so you can do nursing there and then you sponsor it for their hospital. I see. Uh, but I wanted an experience where I had two hospitals. So I go and train in one hospital and then I go and work in another hospital. <sighs> so I had that. Uh, that would be more fun. Even um, like USM, you had the point, go Kuban Korean. Um, it would be exciting also. But um, wait, wait yeah. so you can do it concurrently? Oh no, no, no! What I meant oh, was back to back. Uh, so after you finish your three year diploma, ah, you have okay. to go and uh, finish your bond of service. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I had three years here, and then uh, I went into uh, Sina B and started working. I see. Uh, first ward was postnatal ward. Oh, oh my! Postnatal oh, ward. So <laughs> Wait, so correct me if I'm wrong, right? <laughs> Postnatal means like Yeah yeah, after mommy some babies beautiful. <laughs> Postnatal is the baby one, right? Yeah, yeah bro. Okay, you Actually right, don't you think right when you're so young and you go into a hospital and you're exposed to so many different types of cases. Especially mm. nurse, right? I think yeah. nurse and doctor you see a lot of varying cases. Yeah. Don't you think that's like really harsh? Because life is really harsh. Like you see accident cases, you see like, you know, people well, 
the way I look at it, you know, that's when he mentioned uh, I'm my experience is as uh, as, as his age. I was thinking, did I see him in postnatal? S G M C. No, S G M C. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. or maybe uh, you, you were in S G M C. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Ninety seven. Yeah. Ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah. No, 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 I mean, um, it's a lot to see, right? Don't you think when you're young? You, s- that's why I said you come up, up front and face life, immediately. So when you look at nurses, y- y- you have already coming into that kind of um, environment. environment, and then you have your background. You know, what I'm trying to say is how, like you said, how nurses are not glorified or not really seen. Yeah, the unsung heroes, man. Yeah, it, it's because of, of of this. You know, one, you have your background. Two, you're into that environment. Three, you have to be pop, on the ground and All running. The yeah. And then you have uh, peers. Then you have doctors. You have senior doctors. You have junior doctors. And then you have um, other departments. Uh, so there's a lot. There's a Moving lot. Parts, uh. Uh, and, and, and this girl is trying or this guy is trying, you know, to... to, to to be a good nurse, but yeah, oh. it's a challenge. It's a challenge. When I was young, right, and then I see all these guys running about, especially in the emergency ward, right? Okay. I've seen like guys with like broken legs and all that. I'm just like thinking, wow. The first thought wasn't, that is so hard to look at right now. The first thought was, imagine if I was a nurse working here. Right. And like, I'm so tired. Right. And I see these types of cases every day. Wow, man. I like, I don't know how you... Do it, man. Nurses and doctors both. I feel yeah. like if you're there all the time, yeah. you see a lot of deaths, man. Yes, get used to it, man. Um, right. uh, and and that and that's the thing. Actually, that's something that um you can never get used we, to. Y- yeah, it should not be gotten used to. I, if you get used to it, you don't f- you don't care. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, when I was. I would say growing up with nursing, mm-hmm. uh, I learned, um, you know, there's a lot of words sometimes nurses use, oh, you know, like, um, if there's an ill case, you know, they say, hey, why panasa today? You know, you're getting a lot of patients or a lot of emissions and things like that. Um, I, I think that that caring bit um, sort of exacerbated or became more, especially when I lost my dad. Oh, so really? uh, that part made it even, uh, it, I, I, I kind of really understood you know, how and what people were really going through. It's the impact of death, man. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it should not... I would really say if you're really planning to do nursing and all that and you see this, uh, it's part and parcel of the job. But when you get used to it, you desensitize yourself. And it's not good because yeah. you lose the value of life. Yeah. Right? We, we try and teach nurses to say, okay, treat them as your father or treat them... It doesn't really jive, you know. But different people have different personalities yeah. as well. It's tough la, to, yeah. to kind of tell them you have to behave a certain way. Because yeah. sometimes after a while, you're so tired as well, right? Um, yeah, you? and that's when you start burning out. But yeah. when you're saying about, you see accidents, you see mm-hmm. this, you see that, mm-hmm. but we also see life. Oh yeah, true. We, we, we see babies, Joy, right? we see good stories, we, go, we yeah. see happy stories. So it kind of balance out. That's how I, I look at it. I, I, I've seen death uh, and I've seen miracles. Where like you feel as if there's no port, no way coming back, and then this guy makes. Oh a, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit, bro, that sounds interesting. Wait. Yeah. Example. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know, man. I really gotta know miracles, bro. <laughs> there was this one guy, um, forty plus. You know, he uh. came in with an irregular heart rhythm. Oh my lord. Uh, and um, this the case. If uh, you know defibrillation. Yeah, yeah, and not like the movies, right? They the boom, develop. No, no, that's very Indian kind of uh, <laughs> dramatize. <movies. laughs> Too dramatize, and uh, gosh, when she, my mom watches serial, I just cannot watch. So it's not when the so oxygen mask is the other way around. Just, oh, well, oxygen mask. Yeah. Like, okay, then she like, can you keep quiet? You know, I'm trying to watch the serial. <laughs> but um, uh, Wait, this we, guy, we 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 shocked him. When I say shock, that means we delivered. Uh, uh, the 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 jewels, you know, yeah. kilo jewels into him, and um, for the first time, this was my only case that um, we did it fourteen times, and he survived. And I was like, "Yo, did you see something? You know, was there a light?" So he something? died, and he came back. Um, we took a lot of effort, and we brought him back, and I'm like, "But was it flatlined though?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So men so diabetes. Um, uh, when I say flat line, meaning um, okay, so irregular heart rhythm. Uh, flat line is um, for flat lines. We do CPR. When there's an irregular. Um, oh, then you defibrillate. Yeah, then you defibrillate. Uh, okay. What we call ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation. So there's different rhythms that we look at, uh, which are life threatening. So those kind of rhythms is when we need to defibrillate. That means the heart is just doing that instead of the doing regular pump. Uh, regular pumping of your four quadrants. Yeah. Um, so. This guy, I mean, Wait, that means if irregular. Amazing, heart. I mean, and he and he survived, and I was like, okay, um, you know, I asked him, mm-hmm. I, I went to ask him, so because he was discharged and he had to be referred because we really need to find out what was wrong with his heart, and then I asked him, so so did you did you see, you know, was there? Oh. Light? <laughs> what he <laughs> said? What he said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't see anything. Um, oh man, so anticlimactic. Yeah. So I was just like I just went poetic and I said no 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 God has something else for you you know it's so someone something planned for you something planned for you. so people you know? need the assurance lah yeah. I tell you at that <laughs> point right I think your family members all around like you yeah. have to but then yeah. hey, sorry 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 continue no I'm just I saying like it's tough lah why why does the heart has irregular oh there are various reasons God there's various man. reasons yeah health. I, um, I mean, coronary, insu- um, okay, um, heart attack uh, due to um, your arteries Inclunk. clogged up with, you know, uh, that's why I talk about obesity and I talk about uh, non-communicable mm. diseases, diabetes, mm-hmm, hypertension, mm-hmm. all that, yeah. Mm-hmm. So one is that, and then there are other reasons also. Um, it's just sometimes genetics, sometimes thing just builds up, there's a lot of reasons, right? Actually, you're right, uh, there right. is a genetic syndrome called Brugada. Uh, which is uh, where it clogs up. The uh, thing. No, it blocks like irregular that. heart rhythms. Oh, it's yeah. just irregular heart. Irregular rhythms. heart rhythms. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we talk about you know medical. Do your screening. Just do your. You know, I haven't been gone for a medical checkup for like years, man. Yeah. I swear I should go and do. Oh, it. I had one last month because I had COVID. You no, know, so they checked my body. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then the guy said you have a really slow heartbeat. Yeah, I'm like yeah, thanks. I run a lot. Then he's yeah. like yeah. Then he's like you should be careful. Yeah, like huh? Why? why? Because if it's too slow, then how slow was it? Fifty something. That's all right. That's fine. I'm yeah. l- but he said that I'm like, yeah, that's right. Then he's like, you should be careful because sometimes too if slow. it's slower, then it's a bit more worrying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. It it has to be symptomatic. It has to be symptomatic. That means when you're low, then you're feeling lightheaded and da then yeah. I but see. if you're an athlete, uh, athlete especially, yeah, it's you good. you tend to compensate <coughs> very well. So your heart is a muscle. So you. Like you develop your bicep tricep, your heart is a muscle, so you've muscleized yeah, your heart. literally your heart. Yeah. I think it's a like cardiovascular. But the worry is like footballers and all yeah. that. You know, the over, you, you're playing for this, then you're playing for the next EPL, and then you're playing. You know, da, 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 oh, oh, do you yeah. sound like you watch? Uh, no. Oh, you don't. Your, your husband watches watch watch Manchester United. Oh, 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 bring oh, oh, her the oh, beer oh, oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not that avid, but yeah, you my dad was Liverpool last time. I, yeah. I, 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 know. I play with badminton players that have Chelsea. No, uh, it's a it's a it's a generational thing, definitely. Yeah. Because our time is the Man United rain, and then now it's the Liverpool rain. So that's why all the Liverpool people all come out yeah. It's like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give us another Never more years. Walk la. alone. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, back to the heartbeat. So that's why footballers get heart attack. Is because. Right. Yeah, heart beats slower, but they use so much. That's why they get heart attack. Is that what? Um, I I really I would not know because um. It's very case to case, right? Yeah, it's one. really case to case. Uh, someone actually asked me that. He said, "Oh, is it true? Uh, you know, footballers will get heart attacks and then so, uh, I mean, yeah, you saw a footballer fall down and so, on, but you've not seen an accountant do the same, right? Or you've not seen a policeman do so. It's case to case, yeah. depending on um. What is the background? You know, is there some congenital heart defect? Um, Recently, it's because of the vaccine. A lot of footballers just pass out, right? I don't know whether mm. it's just me. I see a lot of videos where, like, even uh, what's his name from Tottenham? What's his name? Uh? Ericsson. Uh. I don't remember the Denmark player, the Ericsson. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He also just. But he was resuscitated, right? Yeah, he yeah. was. Uh, same, but uh, the thing is, there's a lot of misinformation and disinformation out there. Mm. Uh, a lot. So everyone is putting their points about. Uh, you know it's about about COVID. To the vaccine. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, when we look at the evidence, um, it, it really shows that it's helping, right? So as a as a whole, as a whole, yeah. I mean, we have to see the significance of what it's doing for the greater good. And we're well. going into an endemic phase. I mean, UK still has lockdown fines 
Guangzhou is Shanghai is. Wait, what are lockdown fines? Uh, sorry. I mean, they don't have parties and all. There was, uh, it was in the papers that <gasps> they they can like what we had initially. Like a lock, like a full. Like lockdown. we cannot go yeah. to you know have uh. gatherings and things like that. So they have that and you know, but we have moved. We have moved on, yeah. bro. Yeah. After the first lockdown, I don't think we. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, well, we had lockdown again, I remember. Yeah, but yep. it wasn't really like the first lockdown one. Yeah, it and was partial. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we lived through such. You know what? Talking about this COVID, event, how was the journey as a nurse when <laughs> COVID hits you? Oh yeah, wait. Okay, yeah. so um, I wouldn't say lucky or unlucky, but at that time I uh I was not in the front line. Okay, I was uh like I said, I was already working uh within um, I'm, uh okay, so in nursing you have operational hands-on or you have administration or you can go into different areas like teaching or project management. So at that time, I was oh, in project. Okay. So I wasn't oh. really frontline, frontline. Yeah. And oh, it's your current thing, what you do right now, right? If yeah. I'm not yeah. So okay. now I'm doing uh, my um, uh, training uh, with a company called EEC. So I do CPR training, which everybody should know how to do CPR. They should. How to do CPR? Is it the BGs? Sorry? Yes. What's BG? Oh, is that really a factor? It's oh, a fact. yes. Huh? Ha, really? ha, ha, stay in the so that's Wait. the beat of compression. <laughs> that song is life saving. <laughs> that song is life saving. <laughs> it's you, the beat of compression. That's yeah. a good song though. Right, I yes. love the song. Yeah. You don't sing the whole thing. You don't go, uh, so, which is very funny when I teach it <laughs> <laughs> and everyone goes like, okay, so if you're teaching a very young generation, they go like, BG. No, man. Right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Ed Sheeran <laughs> should <laughs> sing something. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, Have yeah. you seen The Office? Um, not really. Oh man, oh. there's this beautiful scene where like they get someone to train CPR okay. and also the defibrillator and all that. All right. So it's like, oh, you should do it like the Bee Gees. Ha, 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 ha. Stay in the lab. That's then, the beat. Yeah, then after that, someone, you know, whoa, no, no. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> 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 totally off already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know right. the lyrics of the song, but it's just funny. Just that beat lah. Yeah. Oh, That's so for the compression frequency. Then you've got compression depth. Yeah, oh. how deep you have to compress. How deep is your love deep? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so you've got compression at different categories. That means adults at a different level, child at a different level, and infant, of course, at a different level. And because then you can't crush the child's rib. Yeah. Right? You go like so it's a skill. And it's very easy to learn. It's very easy to learn. Uh, you just need to do the theory uh, part, mm. pass the theory, and then just practice the uh, the skill, and then just pass the skills. That's Actually, we, we we get back to the training in a bit because I feel sure. like we jumped that because of the COVID question, right? Yeah. So prior to that, how long were you a nurse, and are you allowed to say like which hospitals you worked at? Or? Um, I worked. I would just say I worked in uh most of the private hospitals within the Klang Valley. Okay. Yeah, started off in Sain Dabi and then I went to various other uh, private hospitals. Uh, grew up the rank from ICU trainers to uh, emergency manager, infection control nurse, then over uh, seat critical areas like OT, ICU, cath lab, oh, different, different areas. Okay. Yeah. And by oversee, what do you mean by that? On a day-to-day uh, So these departments, are, I... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I oversee the operations okay. and the administration of it. Yeah. To so say like enough people working yeah, on this. Yeah. Manpower, somewhere. budget. Yeah. Um, Gosh. Uh, yeah. Supplies. You know. I see forms, more planning. Policies, SOPs, working instructions, KPIs. The basic. Got KPI what you KPI or not? KPI uh? what? What is your KPI? What's the KPI? Berapa orang you selamat? It's not enough selamat. You go out there and start slapping people. Berapa you tak selamat kan? Lima orang. Everyone has a KD ratio. KD, 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 KD. What's that? Kill that assist ratio. Kill that assist ratio. It's a it's a Counter Strike thing. Oh okay. No, I think it's just a gaming thing. It's a gaming thing lah actually lah. Sorry, I didn't pass Candy Crush after ninety seven. So I don't even know. Oh, Candy Crush. 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 Shopping, Shopping has Candy Crush. Yeah, something like Candy uh, Crush. Like it's games. so much easy because they keep telling you where to do it. Oh. Yeah, Shopping yeah. games. Correct, 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 correct. Shopping, yeah. Shopping yeah. relax. Shopping. Participation. <laughs> I didn't know Shopping <laughs> had <any> games. Oh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm you not can sure. plant a tree or so. I'm yes. not sure where are we right <laughs> now. <laughs> but I want to ask, what and when was your first death experience as a nurse? Mm. Oh, yeah, man. I need to know. For the okay. sauce. Yeah. Mm. Like... <laughs> I've never seen some. I've seen one. One of my uh, grandmother passed away. Okay. She was dead, lying at the floor. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm like, 
I don't know what to feel, you know. Okay. So for me, it was pretty ter- terrifying, lah, to just see a lifeless body literally right there. So you, know? you saw her on the floor. On the floor, lying down dead, and then when you, I try to carry her, you know, there's just nothing there. It's just her body, just. That might have been very, very scary. It was some next level stuff. I was thirty that last year. I wasn't prepared, you know. Right. So I'm, I'm just imagining as you know when you did Sorry your nursing, twenty something, mm. that could be some next level shit, bro. And yeah. probably got blood, you know, stuff. Mine, thank God, there was no blood. She just passed away, like, you know. Yeah. But the body just became slight blue, lifeless, uh. and it's straight away is just decomposed. I don't know. I don't well, know. It just becomes mm. hard and heavy. Rigor mortis. Yeah. I don't even know mm. what that. When you pass away, your heart stops pumping, and then your blood starts to clot, so it becomes heavier. Yeah, bro, it right. was some. Um, it was not a sort pleasant of, experience. Uh, weightless. Uh, I mean, your weight is now just uh, in your a weight, lah. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the feeling when I carry. It's just yeah. Yeah. weight, mm. not even a human. You know, so yeah. for me, it was a very terrifying shit to see. Yeah. I hope no one have to see that, but you see that almost every day. Yeah. How is it? What was your first first yeah. experience? Um, I don't remember the first experience, but. Well, you can't remember your first experience. Uh, yeah. Or death. Mm, because yeah. it's it's very individual. Um, th- there there have been like you say lots of. I mean, I've seen that. Mm-hmm. I won't say lots of that makes it sound so morbid. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> but I would say I I have seen that because it's another phase of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah, and um, such a medical thing to say. Um, it is a medical thing to say. Um, actually, when we talk about death, it, it's the way that it's a taboo word. It is. Sometimes we don't talk yeah. about it. Like I, I, we have spoken about it, Mum and I, mm. um, in the event when she um, uh, she dies. Oh uh, shit! What it's like? It's it's a difficult conversation, but I really, really um, strongly believe that we need to have this kind of conversations. So we at least um, are prepared. Are prepared in a way. Um, of course, we don't prepare for the emotions that go through it. Uh, I mean, what we're going to face. You know the. Sudden, uh, you don't see you don't see the loved one there anymore, yeah. But um, that's why grieving um, there is uh, you you can grieve in a in a in a very I would say healthier healthier way, way. yeah. Um, because once you've had the conversation, you know, okay, there has um, you know that okay. Say for example, mum, you know, she's been to the Great Wall of China, you know, she's been to we've been to Sri Lanka, you know, mm. there's a lot of fun and, and you know times. yeah exciting times you know things like this you know bringing her to this you know see so my husband saying you take her you take her I say yeah yeah I'm going to bring her and <laughs> thank you so much you it's know okay, it's cool. yeah so Pleasure. for her it's you know so when it comes to that day of course there's going to be grief definitely yeah. you know you, you get you become hollow but at the same time if you know you've done it and you've done what's needed and there was quality there was love there's memories it's not such a bad thing after it's all. It's not such a bad thing. That's why I said, um, it, that's how I see that is another phase of life. And we talk a lot about, especially nowadays, we talk a lot about uh, managing grief. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I think with, it, with sorry to cut you off, but I think yeah. if it's your family member, it's okay to have that conversation, right? But I think if, so my first experience of death, mm-hmm. for example, mm-hmm. is I saw my, uh, my roommate in the US commit suicide. Oh. Yeah, I found his body. So oh. I saw death like that. And to me, it didn't really shake me. I okay. don't know why. Right. It just felt like, oh. Uh, yeah. Is, I don't want to say his name, but yeah. he's, a, yeah. he's a white dude, but he yeah. committed suicide. So mm. I found his body and I was like, oh man, <laughs> what do I do now? So I called, like, talked to the room advisor, called 911, yeah. cops, everything. Okay. However, when I, saw, when I found out that my grandma passed away from my dad's side, mm. because it's a loved one, I barely knew my roommate. Right. 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 I, I just broke down, man. I just yeah. so I think for own family member, confirm you will feel yeah. grief and yeah. attachment. Yeah. But if you saw like external death, yeah. so I give a a a, a the different two different examples, right? Right. I saw my roommate pass away and he just I just felt okay. Yeah. However, right, when I talk my I told my room advisor, right, my yeah. neighbor, right, yeah. to go and have a look. So her name is Jasmine. Jasmine right. had a look. Yeah. Jasmine just broke down also. She also couldn't believe how she saw a dead body, you know, the people right. It's traumatizing. Right. It's traumatizing. So I suppose the question is, if let's say you're a nurse, right, and or an aspiring nurse, how would you know whether you're prepared for death until you actually encounter death, right? Right. Um, I mean, I can say that when we are learning nursing, mm. we learn about death. 
Yeah. Uh, if you read Kobler Ross uh, about the five stages of grief, you know there is denial, there is anger, then there's acceptance, and now they talk about even though you go through the stages to acceptance, those five stages can be actually haphazard. You can have acceptance first, and then anger later. It's then you can have yeah. yeah. So they talk about that. Uh, I mean, we we. As student nurses, we have theory, and then we go and do practical sessions. So we go into the hospital, and 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 we do that. But saying that, and you have really said it, very, um, you know, um, it is not easy. It is not easy. Um, I relate to a nurse that I had. Um, we were working in emergency. Uh, sorry, she was in the ward, mm. um, and uh, she's an oncology uh, oncology ward. You know, oncology uh, cancer cases. Mm. So um, uh, you see, I'm ICU trained. So I'm like, life, 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 you know, safe, you know, that. But when I uh, uh, changed my job and started working in ICU, but it was in more of an oncology setup, mm. I had to see and accept that there are people I can't save. It is part, of, part and parcel of Yeah, it, 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 until this oncologist told me, you know, Sunita, um, you need to learn to let go, you know. It, it, and that's where I learned more about grieving and that life after that, you know. Um, a nurse can actually say the whole story about the patient. Because they would, because there's so much know. time, right? Yeah. You have conversation yeah. with the patient. Yeah, so this girl, um, she was working in the ward and she couldn't take it. She 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 couldn't. Um, she dreamt every time in the per- because she develops a relationship with them. The patient? Uh? Yeah, with the patient. And then after that, she goes back, she starts having dreams. She starts right. thinking, you know, about the patient and <clears throat> when they pass on, she just couldn't. Uh, it's hard to let go. Yeah, it's hard to get a go. But she's a good nurse, you know. So uh, so what I did was, you know, we had a chat and all that. So I moved her into the emergency department mm. where you see, I mean, they do pass on, but it's, it's a different environment for her. And she functioned very well. And oh. interestingly now, she's an oncology nurse. Oh, is Ooh, it? Fascinating. Yeah. Psych. Okay. So she, she, you know, so um, that's why, uh, like, you know, if I'm trying to think back of when um, the first time I, I, I face um, a, a patient dying, um, you know, um, it, it's very individual, uh, very individual. Um, when I first lost my liver transplant, oh, that hit me the hardest because I had a very strong relationship with, with that patient. With that patient, very strong relationship, you know. So uh, that's when I realized nurses too go through grieving. Because you have a specific bond with that patient yeah, as well. Yeah, we grieve. Yeah. How do you lose a patient via liver transplant? Isn't a liver transplant like pretty... S- oh, um, I'm saying about complications. Oh. And, you know, as in any, um, uh, <coughs> any uh, kind of surgery, you would have your risk. So this one case was a, a liver transplant case. So yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the liver is the only organ that can grow back. Man. Um, like you cut a, a piece off. Yeah, you can donate. Yeah, So you have living related or you have... Yeah. Um, Spouse. Um, oh no, living related. Oh, blood, only your right? parent oh, you or have, your sibling. Uh, yeah, those who are um, clinically dead. Um, or uh, not clinically, sorry. Uh, those who are brain dead. Oh. Mm. Okay, okay. Non-related. Talking about brain dead, right? Yeah. You know when Anyone someone... organ donors here? No. Uh, 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 actually, I, 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 I feel like I should register myself. Yeah, yeah, register. Yeah, I should just use my organs. Might as well, if, yeah. I, if I die. The, the, I guess that sorry I cut you off, but I guess the taboo about organ donation is that if I sign an organ donation, that means tomorrow I'm going to give it. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. My issue you is know, I'm people not get yeah. scared. You know, organ donation yeah. that means oh my god, you know, it's end of the. I think it's more it? of a family thing is rather it? than an Who individual tells them thing. That? Oh, you so have a card, bro. But why people are so hesitant to I guess give organ donation? I suppose it's because you don't know what happens when you die, mm-hmm. and you don't want to risk having an unfortunate after death experience. Oh, right. What? Okay. Yeah, so I don't because fundamentally you don't know what happens after death, right? Mm. That's the mm-hmm. basis of this okay. statement. So if I die and if uh-huh. I give away some of my organs, mm-hmm. perhaps that puts me in a poor position in the afterlife. For whatever reason, okay, I don't know how we're going to piece this together. No, it's because you don't know what religion, you know, maybe you go to heaven, you're like, oh, I gave yeah. my heart away, so I'm not really so in heaven because I can't pump my blood. Uh, or maybe heaven. God thinks you're not grateful mm. for your organs. I don't know, yeah, right? Don't right. Know. I think it's all stretched, right? Mm. Fundamentally, you okay. don't know, and so why take that risk? So that's... Mm. Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we we maybe. do live in a very, like, religious setting anyway. So maybe yeah. that's why a majority of people think that way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Makes sense. Sadly, so in Malaysia, um, I mean, for me personally, I believe, uh, I, I mean, I see how transplants have 
successfully it's, saved lives. Yeah, you know, and now, uh, and we are not one of the top uh, organ um, donor. donation uh, uh, in terms donors in terms of uh, in numbers. Uh. In numbers, yeah. Um, but then again, we are also not exactly the healthiest in Asia. Yeah, <laughs> you could, you could do with your, you know, uh, heart valves and corneas yeah. and you know, we, we, we are okay. We don't, oh. we don't mind. Okay. <laughs> I mean, when you're in yeah, need of it, right? And I think that if I'm not mistaken, there is always like a waiting list for... Ha- yeah, it's heart, heart always has a waiting list, right? I mean, actually all organs oh, because our, our Malaysia is not very... Uh, you know, generous um, with yeah. Um, the other thing about Malaysia is, uh, as compared to Singapore, you see, Singapore, if in the event you you do uh, pass on and and you uh, confirm uh, brain dead and you are you know um uh, uh your organs can be uh, harvested. harvested right yeah because if you do CPR a lot you know you, you you can also damage the heart so then we won't take the heart but we'll do uh, we'll do with the heart valves you know we can do heart valve transplant oh. um so the thing is. In Singapore, I mean, once you're considered, uh, then you can, uh, you you will be on the list already to be harvested. Is it like a government law? Yeah. Oh, so what? unless unless uh, there is other reasons, like you know, um, say um, uh, maybe uh, HIV positive, ah, you know, I see, other I see. Of I see. cases like but that. But in Malaysia, like I'm an organ donor, mm. uh, so <laughs> I've ticked everything, you know, take whatever you want. Um, uh, you know, you want to preserve my brain, also. I think it's very important. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, um, if my mom intervenes and say no, then I- I- it's no. Yeah, you see. Yeah, I, that, so I always think it's a family thing. That's the opt in and opt out method. Right, right. Yeah. So as I, I've told and I told my husband, no, oh, give my, you know, give it give away. Give it when no, you need. No, 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 no. Cremate, then you can do whatever you want to do. But you know. My heart is really good, you know. So you might as well just <laughs> give it. My that. my brain might be useful, you know. Science, I don't know. I'm, Maybe I'm surprised with my brain. So it's true. I feel like I feel like when there is a there is a dire need for it, people don't empathize because they are in the pink of health, for mm. or their family is in a great time right now. Right. It's only when the time really hits where that you really need that organ, yes. then all of a sudden you feel like, are you? Yeah. Fuck, I should have. Honestly, the like karma. only reason why I feel why organ donators are not many is because, I mean, you, if you all see like college and everything, you always see blood donate blood donations and everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you don't see sign up for organ donation. I've never seen a single crap. Oh, yeah. Huh? Right? I've never seen that in my life. True. I mean, it's not as prominent as blood donation. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I don't get people saying like, you should be a blood uh, organ donor. I had one long ago. I signed up when I was like 14, but then I don't know what happened to the card. It's right? in my Sajatra now. There's something. No way. What? what? Yeah. Serious? How about organ, organ donation? donation? Organ donation? Yeah. Y'all should take my... I didn't know that. Like, I, I feel like it's How just not so it? accessible. or b- it, it, was it was in... Um, in more? Under the... Um, you got a show, man. Yeah, information, one. you know? That yes, they put that, yeah. So like, like say for example, if you're an organ donor, donor right? So mm-hmm. like after I die, la, mm-hmm. shit, man, okay? Mm-hmm. Then uh, they will take my do- my organs first. Okay. And then only they will cremate me. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Because I think my organs are pretty good. La. Yeah. Yeah. Like for real. I had, um, I had, uh, it's pretty, s- because um, it was pretty sad. You know, um, this was a very young girl and um, um, she was doing a presentation and then um, there was, um, um, I think it was a ruptured blood vessel in her brain and she came in, uh, you know, uh, in a collapsed state and uh, only daughter, Are you? Uh, parents, and they said yes. And, you know, um, she went in. Uh, uh, so we have different hospitals coming in, right? So if, uh, because we did compression, we did CPR, so her heart valves only could have been harvest- harvested. So, uh, different hospitals came in and then Wait, they took... She passed away. Yeah, she, she passed away. Wait, how? Uh, the, it, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was a, a brain aneurysm. So she was just chilling at school and then just bam. Yeah, brain aneurysms... Um, um, aneurysms basically is when a blood vessel, um, the, 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 the wall of the vessel weakens, you know. So um, uh, it, it, it can happen. Uh, it could be congenital. Right, you know. I'm going to cry yeah. right now, bro. Shit. So... You see, how many of them actually lived on through her? Because of your life, other people. Yeah, and can it, live it on. was a very tough decision, I'm sure, as parents. You know, yeah, it's yeah. a very young girl, but they made it. They did it, and and 
Um, and when she came back after OT, you know, when people say, oh, you know, you go, you get cut. No, she looked serene. You know, she looked just perfect, you know, in that sense. And then, you know, they, they did their, you know, um, I, I personally always, when I'm with my family, when I say my family means my patient's family, Uh, so when I'm with my family of my patient and my patient is passing on or I know already he's, uh, he or she is going, I always tell them, you know, the hearing is the last. Uh, you know, they still... so Hearing you, is the last sense. Yeah. So if you have anything to say, say it. Say it. Yeah. Talk to them. Let it out. Let, let, let them have that peace as well as you also reach that peace. Mm. So when it comes to the time when you start grieving, you say, okay, I did. You know, I, I have that, let yeah. go. Uh. Yeah. How, how long does the brain take to die before you die? Okay, so um, clinical death happens in four minutes. That's why when you do CPR, we have to start within that four minutes of time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, after 10 minutes, then brain death starts to set in. Holy yeah. shit. So you have 10 minutes to save a life. You have four minutes. Oh my God. To give a, a, a better outcome for... So if you're doing CPR, we have a better like 25% chance of survival. But if you have an AED... Then you have about 50% chance of survival. So AED is the electric one. Yes. Not even 51, bro. It's 50. Okay. Um, yeah, I some mean, people do surgery for 1%. So 50 is a lot. Yeah. So there wow. is oh, four minutes to basically save a life. So that person can literally, the heart can be stopped, stop pumping right now. Yeah. You have four minutes to re-pump it back. So you become the heart and the lung. Right? You pull, you so you do your compressions and you're giving your breaths. How do you give breath? You, you, is it? Yeah, so um, with now with COVID, so we, uh, they talk about the precautions of the both persons wearing, uh, I mean, sorry, the, the victim Performing. wearing the mask. Oh, you can have, um, actually I have it in my handbag, a uh, handheld mask. With, Wait, which what? Yeah, I, I, because I play badminton, uh -huh. and you know these guys are all like 45 and above. Dangerous, high risk, high risk. <laughs> yeah, you know, so <laughs> I always have mask in my, my handbag and uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ready what, for action. Oh, hand, oh, like It's a, a handheld uh, mask. So you, can I see that? Yeah, sure, oh. it's in my bag. If you, later lah. Later. Or you don't take now, is it? I don't know, I'm quite curious. Like, what, what is a hand? Google like, stuff you, like you have to see. hold it? Um, it, it? It's a mask. It's basically like an oxygen mask. Yeah. But it's just the mask that you place onto the face. Ooh. Then you have a little filter uh, and then you blow through so the like filter. Oh, la, you need wow. that. You're playing badminton, bro. You use a mask with no holes. I, 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 I can't do it because when I search hand mask, it gives me gloves. I don't know what. It's handheld though. Handheld mask? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should search handheld you mask for CPR. Minutes, bro. Yeah, that's why CPR is so essential. It's mm. like I was talking to my husband yesterday. It, it, it's just oh. not like um, something you learn like. Yeah, exactly. Wow, this is so interesting. Yeah. What happened? A change of light. Oh, But it's okay, yeah. we continue. Yeah. Wow, so that means, right, this plastic mask, for, I mean, because people watch and listen, so yeah. if you're listening on Spotify, this mask looks like it's a see-through uh, N95, maybe, mask, where um, you put it on. It looks like one, right? Don't you it's think? It's more like, um, I think it's, Polystyrene or something kind of yeah. material. Polystyrene, but it looks plastic. Like, oh, yeah. oh, it's like rubbery. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. And yeah. then there is a valve for you to blow yeah. air in. Yeah. But this is it. Does it? I don't think it helps with COVID, right? Like no difference. Like, you're blowing your own air in, right? Yeah, but, but it's a life, lah. So yeah. you might as well just exist and then get COVID, right? <laughs> Better than dying, right? Or you can do hand, um, hands only CPR. So you just continue doing compression. Still, help arrives. I see. Yeah, if if you're worried. Uh, because I always throw this, uh, you know, when someone says, oh, you know, then I say, okay, um, you know, you're worried about the victim. Okay, are you related to the victim? Yeah. So if you're related to the victim, would you be worried about doing mouth to mouth? No, but it, yeah. Worry, just do it, man. Just do it. Yeah, but if someone uh, you don't know, then of course you're, you're worried. It's, it's uh, you know. It's normal. Uh, yeah, it's normal. That way. Yeah, so then you just do hands only. So you just continue doing compressions mm. till help arrives. But by yeah. doing that, you need to pump air in, right? Because if you're just doing this, air is just going out. So this guy is just like laying there and he's... Um, okay. So the physiology is... Uh, so you've got your heart mm -hmm. and you're basically putting... Uh, you're pumping the heart. So the, the heart will fill up with blood, right? And then when you compress... It presses to push the blood the out. The blood out. Then... After you, when you release the compression, the heart then fills up again. I see, I see. It's like a balloon with water that's Correct. releasing to the rest of the body. When you yes. press it, water goes out, then you 
you like exactly. go, it comes back You in. are basically the body pushing. Yeah, yeah. You yes. are the heart. Uh, you yeah. are the heart. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Because of pressure, there is no... When you let go, the pressure pulls it back. Because yes. it's an empty heart, right? Yes. Technically. So that's basically what you're doing. Now, in when you want... When you have that blood circulating, you want oxygen in that blood. And now this guy is not breathing. So hence why you Blow air give into breaths it. Yeah, into, uh, the in, victim, in, into the victim. And that gives the oxygen, about 16 to 18%. If you're yeah. wondering how it comes yeah, in the oxygen. Because most of the air is carbon dioxide. Right? But no, there no, are no, some no, oxygen, no, no. right? Yes. Our body yeah. is not 100% efficient yeah. with absorbing oxygen anyway. So even if you take normal breaths, the amount of oxygen yeah. is more or less the same. Yeah, so about 16 to 18%. So that's what you're doing. So you're giving them oxygen within their blood and you're compressing. So the, the body will compensate in a way to only uh, to help ensure the most important target organs are, are given like your blood. your heart, your lungs, yeah, brain. And your brain. Survival lah. It's mm. automatic lah. You only got four minutes. I yeah. always find it so strange, right? How human beings right, are so adaptable and yet so fragile at the same time. Yes. You know, it's like one block can kill you. You know, like one blockage mm. in your thigh, heart attack, whatever. You, you can do that, right? I think I've, I've heard, uh, I don't know whether who told me this. I think it's my dad. If you get shot in your leg, okay, like with a gun, okay, like your thigh, uh, you right. you bleed out the fastest. I mean, Compared to your neck and everything, like, I mean, neck clearly. If you hit your like. femoral artery, I guess it's where which artery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's which artery. So we, I, I feel like we're so sensitive. Like you could um, fall down from a swing. Yeah. Knock your head mm. and die. I mean, you knock your head, bro. Uh, you, have you seen like that? <laughs> really um, die on concrete, lah. You know, mm, like yeah, can you know? Yeah, so yeah, 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 simple. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like the hot the, the human body is so resilient because people can get run over, right? Yeah. And still survive. Yes. I'm like, dude, how does it vary so much, right? right. That it's we true, can yeah. be so fragile, but at the same time, so sturdy. Yeah. Because some people, right, like you can like just, I, I don't know if you've seen this, like Japanese people who fry tempura, they stick their whole like fingers inside the hot oil on you. They just like, no feeling really. Because they, they wrap it with batter and then just like, shah, shah, shah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. it's like 400 <laughs> degrees Celsius oil, man. <laughs> this guy's playing with literal like, Hotter than fire. I don't think he has sensation in his fingers. Yeah, he's done, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think my head, I put the kettle. Ah! You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know how there is such a big gap from ultimate survivor yeah. to like a, a guy who's never seen the sun before that thing. Yeah. And, uh, so and strange. Yeah. And, and that's what we, we see also, uh, you know, as a nurse, we, we, we see this uh, huge, vast like yeah. gap, right? Of yeah. people who are so hardcore they can survive anything. Yeah. People who are just so fragile. But man. we see more of this. We see more of the happy side. We see... The sturdy, we, we, resilient... We do see that. We do see that, yeah. But do you think there are more human beings out there, patients of yours that you've seen that are in that spectrum of survival versus the whole fragile one? I think I only know like one or two people that are super, super fragile. Like if you if they fell, confirm break bone one. Yeah. Looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean bones are breakable. <laughs> Dude, this guy, he can he can I don't know lah, he can kick a football and then hit a bit of thing and crack and break his toe Aww. nose. I don't yeah. know. I a lot of uh, yeah. hospital experience. Yeah, yeah. We can we can share a lot. Uh, I'm <laughs> I, uh, Taekwondo and oh. I play badminton. So Wow. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Not oh. only your job shows you injury, <laughs> your hobby also shows you injury. <laughs> so, <laughs> can happen. Yeah. I want to ask you, okay? See, I always see this in the movie. I need to get it out of my system. Okay. Do Every time people, before they die, they will give a few last words and then they will pass. <laughs> These Tamil movies, uh. huh? <laughs> Tamil movies, is it? Oh, Every okay. English movie also, like, you know, do they, can you like plan when you want to go? Uh? <laughs> oh, no, no, I love her. No, there's... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Normal. No, there's one that my brother-in-law shares. Uh, this girl gets shot in the head. I saw that shit. <laughs> that, 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 mm. You know, the one in the car, right? Yeah. And then she can go all the way. I don't know what the, the, the hell is going on, man. There. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, right? But... <laughs> don't suppose it does, lah. I know, bro. You saw um, your head, you instant die, bro. What are you talking yeah. about? Wait, but... Like, let's say if I'm I'm about to pass, but yeah. I know I got a few more seconds. Like, like I can like, John, fuck you. Then I can just go. Fucking <laughs> 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 Can I can I plan when I want to go? Can I, doesn't work that way, right? Tell you no. So the movies are fake. <laughs> Technically, you can hear, right? Yeah, because that's it's what the I was last, saying. Right? I believe that's a way that we can then say what we have to say. That's what I, I believe in. Mm. That yeah. Yeah, I always say a prayer. I mean, my own prayer when someone passes on. I mean, yeah. But um, no, uh, to, to so your question. Some, so um, maybe like, example, if I'm about to pass, I'm like, John, I want to eat 
because your heart is slowing down and you know yeah yeah, yeah. so i'll probably just pass away before i complete my sentence lah like it like could Andrew, be mid sentence i like hit your uh done i'm out not really seen that either <laughs> not really seen that lah All right, I guess uh, Pash is a touch um, of fantasy. See, uh, <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, because they want to make it. You know, you sell dramatize. movies. You want to <laughs> dramatize it. Yes, way, dramatize right. It. You know, you die like ten takes, like no three. Like my mom watches like you know three weeks of serial, and the person is still dying. You know. So, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man, that's that's very true. <laughs> They're really milking the shit out of the episode. That that. Oh, series. you can cry for like you know. Like yeah, extended episodes. period times. Yeah, you come back, she's still crying. Now, be ama, she's still crying. Ah, yeah, yeah, she's still crying. Okay, you know, we'll yeah, next week. She's still dying. Still dying. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you about no. the weight of a nurse, right? Like, you know, all this while, I'm like, just go to the doctor. Doctors very important. And everything. No one actually tell me nurse plays a very important part. Okay. And I don't really know what do nurses do. In fact, okay. um, of course, I've been in the ER. The oh, one okay. that attends me uh-huh. are nurses okay. before the doctors. Okay. Yeah, but how much weight does a nurse actually pay, play from the time an individual actually comes in right. and get out from the hospital? Arguably, I think they do more than doctors. Doctors kind of just tell you what to do. How would I know? Yeah, I think so too. Right? I think yeah. you guys yeah. do a lot of the... You are the arms and legs of the doctor, man. So, um, I would call it a partnership. Yeah, um, the nurses are the like you said the hands and legs. Yeah. You know, I mean without uh, the yeah, uh, it's it's either all right. One guy as a doctor or a girl can't do everything, right? Yes. Clearly, so yeah. the the doctor is pivotal. I mean that's important, right? Because this person is a learned person. He yeah. um uh, he would say, okay, you need to um do a CT scan. You need to do an MRI. You know, yeah. uh, um uh, run the blood test. You know, okay. Um, um, okay, so give an example. Uh, say uh, you, ca- you you said you had uh, what uh, well, sports I had, injury. I had, I had a lot of things. Bro. He's broken a lot, lah. And you can pick any bone. He's probably cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> like your head is your nose, <laughs> right? You have yeah. broken your arm. You broken I'm your leg. Also, yeah. Broken your toe. Football. Football. Everything, lah. Uh, accident. Accident. Yeah. A couple. He's But I think the most severe one was my nose one, lah. Okay. Yeah, one yeah I had racket hitting my. Oh, nose. you also. You also? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Don't so you got metal there, so? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. No, I was very worried. Yeah, my no. Okay. <laughs> It's just a a gash. But I have. But a metal interestingly, here. I had concussion. Ah. Huh. Yeah, oh, you actually have concussion in sports. Wait, what happened to you? What you did lah? You hit no, butt who? Not hit butt because he ha- he was going for the for the shot. The last thing you ever do is look back. In so. badminton, <laughs> hey, you should never do that. Oh, and so he, he just hit your head. Oh like my god. god. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, but it's better to hit here than hit behind here because here is quite weak, right? As I hit. Um, it, it's different parts of the uh the brain that gets affected. So your occipital is more for your uh vision. Your frontal is more for your thinking. Uh, your speech area. So you know you you got different, different different segments yeah. of your brain, and they all have different um functions. Yeah, functions. You know, your cognitive uh, functions, your Damn. motor functions. So okay. So example. Uh, now when you. Use me lah. Yeah, I'm fine, bro. I can show you my picture also <laughs> when I was in the ER. Yeah. We can show pictures. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> It was really nice, beautiful. So, um, okay. So, say someone comes in with a fracture bone, right? So, fracture bone. Um, uh, so, once the 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 patient comes in, the nurse. Wow. Okay. That's motor. Oh, you look like hit. shit. Uh, car accident. Car accident. Yeah, uh? I look like shit. Right? I know, your, bro. Your airbag. Your airbag. No uh, airbag. I hit the steering. That's why I broke my nose. Someone hit you from behind. No, you lost I, control. I, I hit the tiang. I slammed myself at the. There was no airbag in the car, so I broke my nose. Didn't deploy. No, there was no. It's an old Vira. They Oi. don't have airbag. Oh, yeah, uh, talk sorry. Airbag, yeah. So th- this was the outcome, like, you know. Managed to ask. I don't know who took you. Was it you? Which one? I think I asked a nurse to take a picture of this. Oh, uh. that's me, lah. Oh, John. Okay. Yeah. I was supposed to go to the gym with him that day. Oi. Then I called him. Didn't answer. Then I like, what the fuck? Then I called his mother. Then mother also don't answer. Oh. After like half an hour, I was like, hmm, maybe no gym today lah. Oh. Then the mom calls me. Oh, yeah, impossible. <laughs> then the mom calls me. It's like, Pogi got into an accident. I'm like, oh my lord. Drove all the way there. He's coughing out blood and everything. Mm. Then after he asked me to take photo. In the yeah, you gotta treasure this picture. It's once a lifetime experience, man. <laughs> Quite bad. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> right, but it wasn't pleasant, lah. I had yeah. shit, but I remember nurse attending to me only. Right. Nurse come, nurse go. Nurse come, nurse go. Nurse clean, nurse go. Yeah. They do their very best. I was spitting blood at them. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know, and then after that, the doctor came. Right. 
that I don't remember what happened already. Okay. So that um so when 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 anyone comes into an emergency department, like uh, example is emergency department. Mm-hmm. So they get access uh assessed in a way um it's called triage. So we triage or we sort. Triage means <coughs> we sort priority, high priority, medium priority or low priority. Triage is T R I A G E. Correct. Okay, okay. Uh, so once we triage uh and we are trained to triage. Uh, so we are trained to know whether this is going to be um, I high need to yeah attend urgent. this urgently. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, curiosity. Mine is under which this meeting? This would be critical. Oh is shit, it? bro! Because you've I got a cervical know. collar on, you've been through an accident, so we worry. We are always worried about uh, the spine. cervical, the oh. spine. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, he seemed fine to me. <laughs> can ask for photo. I can joke around. I'm like, hi, uh, this Bro, guy will leave. I her. was dying there, okay, <laughs> but uh, this man will leave. I had, I, <laughs> this man will leave. I had a bypass patient mm. who was bald, and then as he was coming up from his anesthesia, because in um, we usually extubate. That means we remove the tube that they are oh. uh, using uh, in ICU. Oh so as we Lord. extubate, and then he goes, and he's bald, eh? and mm. he goes like. Uh, so we were trying to see whether his uh, GCS or his um, uh, his neuro uh, assessment was good, and he goes like, "Do you have a hair dryer?" Then oh. we all go like, "Shanks, yeah. no, it's a stroke Shit, or what?" You know, you know and then he starts ball, laughing. Bro. Oh, he was joking with you yeah. all, uh, <laughs> Bloody hell! That is something I think I would do. So <laughs> what, sarcasm shows his neuro engine is working just yeah, fine. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> we all like, and then just look at me. I was like. He look is fine, but but his friends were very cute. They actually gave him like a, like bouquet of flowers at Benson and Hedges. Wow. Box empty. Empty. <laughs> so he stopped smoking after that. <laughs> oh, very indirect. Also, ah, uh. whole group also very indirect. Ah, uh, these guys. Full of sarcastic fellas. Yeah, it's something to do with nicotine. Oh, yeah lah, yeah lah. Because of smoking, right? Yeah. Hence the whole blockage and everything. Yeah. <sighs> is there some sort of pattern that you see when people are about to die? Yeah. Say, for example, uh, how they behave. So, from like to give you one example, mm-hmm. is at least from my observation, if someone has, uh, I don't know, uh, some sort of disease or illness that is absolutely fatal, right. they have weeks left. Yeah. Uh, it's downhill, but then towards the last one or two weeks, it goes back up. And they're hungry again. They mm. talk, they speak well. Yeah. Cognitives mm. all on point, yeah. and then they pass. Mm. Right, that's one example of a pattern that I have seen at least. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Like yeah. they like what? Yeah, mm. healthy last two weeks, and then it. I wouldn't say healthy, but they uh, things they pick back know. up again. Yeah, and then they sort of have that opportunity to say whatever they want to say. Yeah. Uh, say say even uh, our our grandfather who had I think some degree of Alzheimer's. He mm. couldn't remember anything. I think in his mm-hmm. final one or two weeks, that's what I saw. Right. Really? Yeah, yeah. He remembered more, definitely, m- like way sharper than he than he than he was mm. like a month ago, mm. and then he passed. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. I really don't remember. So are, are there other patterns that you've seen? I guess as a nurse, I I don't see them that long in that sense. But family members do you say, uh, you know, they 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 seen this, you know, this subtle change, you know. Um, I mean, like for me, my dad, uh, he came in for his morning appointment, you know, for his usual um, uh, cardiac checkup. He had just gone through uh, stenting. And then for that day, he wanted to have me goring and wow. orange juice. Oh. Mm. And then he tells me, because I was afternoon shift, and then he says, uh, you know, you, you don't ever be late for work. Always be punctual for your work. Do your work your, your 100%. You know, it's very into that. And um, then he went home, went home with mum, and um, I went to work. Um, and what happened after that is that then he he had he was supposed to do his stress test, so he told mum, okay, let's start walking, you know. Uh, and then he had gone a few steps, and then he started having pain. And then mum's like, shall I call, you know, because I was working in ICU at that time. Uh, shall I call, uh, you know, Sunita? So then he's like, okay. And then he came, by the time he reached home, he just said she was wondering what to do, and he just slumped. You know, so, but when we, when we think back, uh, it's like he knew he was gonna. Uh, when, when we think back, you know, uh, yeah, that that would be, I guess, family members mm, really feeling that and that. seeing that somehow, I guess, our phys- uh, our psychology compensates in a way, uh, you know, and then we see we see things differently, right? Or more, you know, but as a nurse, um, um, uh, I mean. 
I depend a lot on looking at the monitor. You know, I depend a lot on looking at parameters and uh, yeah. you know more more on that kind of data. I see. Yeah, um, but it is a tough question. It is a very trust, uh, tough question that I have had difficulty answering. You know, when the patient says, "You know, am I going to die?" It, it, it's difficult. Um, that's why uh, I've one part of nursing that I've never ventured is pediatric oncology. Uh, mm. Children with yeah, cancer. Children. Yeah, I I can't. I I I know my capabilities that I would not be able to, you know, function effectively mm. in that kind of environment. You're so innocent. Yeah. You don't know what's do you happening. even tell a child that he doesn't die. have long to live? Yeah. yeah, but they come up with very interesting questions, you know. But I I didn't venture into that area. So to to to, I don't really see it. Okay. Yeah, but um. I have heard about it uh, as I you see. have, and I guess when family members they will say, you know, they did this or they did something different. Uh, That's when you start to notice, uh, uh, the Yeah. End. So when we think back, you know, dad suddenly wanted he wanted orange juice and he wanted this, you know, and then um, uh, they were they had a uh, tea time together. There was the first time he <laughs> said, "Come, come, let's go and have something together," you know. So, uh, yeah. That was you. You yeah. think that it's good news because everything is picking up. That yeah, you kind of think, but. Yeah, but as a as a nurse, um, uh, Hard to sometimes see sometimes I'm there before the family members are there. Right. Yeah. So you were the last person they so could have seen. Someti- yeah. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like that. Ooh. Yeah. So then um, you know it's actually breaking difficult news. Is uh, you know because um, you, you don't know when. Um, uh, sometimes uh, it can take um, uh, longer. Uh, because the patient still has a lot of medication within them, you see, like dopamine or adrenaline drugs that we give to assist life. Yeah. So uh, sometimes uh, it, it's um, faster. So so family members, you have the nurse has to be very very sensitive, sensitive, and you know be able to manage that family members because right. it's tiring. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Very tiring. And I'm always, um, uh, you know, if mom says, you know, someone's going to pass away in the hospital, let's go and visit. I don't, because the caregivers are going through a lot, and I guess we are Asian culture. We just want to go and say, "Hey, what happened? Huh? What did the doctor say?" But imagine twenty family members coming asking the same yeah, question. It's very overwhelming. It's overwhelming, and it kind of interferes with the whole process. And yeah, I also feel the same. Every time when there is something that happens to a family member, I always feel that there is this like, "Oh, you should go to the hospital and just be there." Mm. But then I feel like when I'm there, right, does it really help? Yeah. I mean, I can have a conversation with you for like 15 minutes, lah, right? And I can be there, I can sleep overnight or whatever. For sure yeah. I can. It's just that I don't know whether I'm the another obstacle for the cat, like the nurses and the... You yeah. know what I mean? It's like yeah. they have to give additional information yeah. to me. Yeah. And then like I need to walk out for, of the room and then it's just additional for them. Yeah. And it's just going to like make it worse for them yeah. to deal with it, right? Yeah. And uh, I don't even know how to deal with bad news, especially when it's on the spot. Yeah. Please, uh, I don't what know, what I always have taught my nurses is that um, if we are uh, we always identify a caregiver, right. that one person that you know can be the source of information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So whenever family members come and say, "Hey, why? Huh? What happened?" Huh? Because they will come. Uh, it's okay. nonstop. You repeat and repeat, yes. and you're like. Dude, so imagine an ICU nurse. We work for the morning shift, seven to two, or two to nine, two p.m. to nine p.m. or nine p.m. to seven p.m. Yeah. So those are the three usually uh, usual time hours. So we do twelve hourly shift, lah, seven a.m. to seven p.m. or seven p.m. to seven a.m. We can do that kind of shift also. Uh, and imagine as we are doing nursing care, then one family member will come and say, "Hey, so uh, what happened to him?" Huh? And as uh, data protection we can't be you know disclosing, to disclosing everything you see so we always say okay uh could you see family member a you they know will uh, they you will know. let you know uh. so when uh, it's always important that also you know if it's privacy uh, of the the, the yeah. patient's confidentiality yes or, yeah. and if you if you do have um uh, if you do come into this kind of scenario identify a family member you know, if the person is in ICU, identify. Okay, this my brother will be handling everything. So anything, speak Brief, to my brother. Yeah, yeah. Because the last thing you want to do is, um, if people are caring, they are not wrong in coming and asking because they find that's their sense of purpose. Uh, you know, if you don't go and visit, also wrong. 
Then yeah. they say, you know why you didn't come and visit me? Oh, oh my like god, that was another it? family feud. Bloody uh, Asian you know? shit. Mm. This is such Asian yeah. shit. I swear to God. But, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, um, you, that nurse has duties that she has to do. So coming back to that question, and other is patients, that, right? So, yeah. So yeah. if you're doing like an ICU, you're doing one to one care. You're basically carrying out all the doctor's orders. We are also assessing. Uh, whether the whatever treatment that's being rendered is effective. So whatever medication you order, antibiotics you've ordered, sure. a wound is it healing? Um, uh, if the patient needs a tube through the nose into the tummy, the nasogastric tube. She low key like CSI. Uh. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. on the spot CSI. You know, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> y- y- you've got to like. Um, Attentive, uh, lah. Yeah, it, because as an ICU nurse, an emergency uh, nurse, y- you've got to really read the signs. You you have to know your patient, you know, because when you miss anything important, that's mm. when the patient turns bad. Yeah. Yeah. So this right. comes through a lot of experience, you know, when you do that. But it's always important to have that one family member, and then everybody can always go to that family member instead uh, of yeah. yeah. So otherwise, you have twenty people. I I had one one patient um, in ICU. Um, this was a post bypass. He's quite ill, and then uh, one of the relatives came. You know, he's a, he said, "I'm a doctor." I said, oh, okay. Oh, what's your specialty? Oh, I'm an ophthalmologist. Okay, so cool. I said, okay, yeah. Okay. So how's the patient? So I went, hmm, "Okay, yeah, doctor. Okay." So I rattled up. I told him all because you're ophthalmologist. This is a cardiac cardiac case. Cardiac, yeah. You see, you would understand, but. Certain things you might not be, you know. It's not detailed. I yeah. mean, technically, you're. Yeah, it's not your speciality, yeah. right? Yeah. But when we have medical students coming, ah, that's another story. Because sometimes the relative is a medical student. Oh, I, I'm a doctor. So, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm finishing my medicine. Oh, you're a medical student. Yeah, I'm fifth year medical student. Okay. So, what's wrong with my son? Uh, so, I'll explain it. And then you'll be like, <laughs> you know? So, uh, you mean well. You mean well, because that's your sense of concern, that's your sure. sense of purpose, totally understand. But also try and, um, when you identify one person, everyone can go to that source of information, then yeah. you don't ask the nurse. It's also responsibility, right? Because Persistently. Yeah, and like the <laughs> information. Don't disturb them. Like, yeah, <laughs> and the information also, you repeat, waste your time, number one. And number two also, you're not so sure, right? If let's say I, let's say I uh, told, Everybody that you should go to Andrew, yeah, for the information, mm-hmm. right? But if the nurse were to brief one by one every single, I wouldn't. Maybe I'm not comfortable saying to everybody that I have this certain thing with my body Definitely. or whatever, right? So Andrew would be the filter because I'm already like, uh, right? Like yeah, I'm, I'm like KO. Or You're that. in a hospital to heal. Yeah, that's your purpose, right? It's just to recover, ma. But everyone yeah. will come and ask you. So how are you today? What did the doctor say? Say uh, I need a head dryer. Yeah. Anyone came? <laughs> <laughs> anyone came to visit you? Yeah, uh, and yeah. it's the repeat question. So uh, I, I feel like if I was the patient, I'd be so frustrated. And the the bros will come. Any cute nurses? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that one was so true. Yeah, no awesome. dude, it was a male nurse. Are uh, <laughs> well, you've truly seen it all, haven't you? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you've truly seen it. you've seen it all. <laughs> What's the ratio of male nurse compared to female nurse? Oh, I was gonna ask that. I was gonna right. ask that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Male not many, right? Mm. Not many. Um, it's an ego I thing, don't right? have the statistics uh, to really let you know. But if I'm saying, like, say in ICU, uh, say we have thirty uh, nurses in whole, we probably will have maybe six. That's not bad. Eight That's actually uh, higher than I thought. I thought it was nurses. like I thought it was like it one or like, two. It was like one in five, maybe. Mm, I mean, one in maybe one in eight. Uh, one in, I, I'm Damn, not okay. really really Got sure, it. but it's not as. Uh, what it could be. Why do you think that's the case? I, I guess that's it. You know, uh, Asian cult- culture is one thing mm-hmm. uh, because they find... Um, uh, uh, Males are yeah, just you know, egoistic if, if say, say, fuckers. <laughs> okay, so for example, <laughs> y- y- you need to have an injection on your buttocks. Sure. So are you comfortable with the guy giving the injection? I, whatever I see. Just yeah, okay. to Help save me, my bro. life. Just okay, so me. that's part of the reason. Uh. No, Would I you think be comfortable? Uh, personally, I would, but if I was female, I can un- I can empathize why I yeah, wouldn't yeah, be comfortable. Yeah. If why? I was a female, and why then people I was do better than guy men? I don't understand. Uh, uh, it was if say you need an you need as a guy you need yeah. an injection on, on your head. I'd, I'd be fine. Um, would you prefer a lady nurse or a male nurse? Whichever oh. is more any gentle. nurse, I still be shy, bro. <laughs> no, like, as right. long as my life. Because you look at my ass. Uh, however, <laughs> I do understand your point of view because I we think we see it as glutes. Gluteal yeah. muscle, yeah. <laughs> I, but I see your point. Like, it's because I think a female and female is okay. But I think if it was a male nurse and a female patient, she might not feel so 
she might feel violated or whatever. I don't know lah. Maybe lah. Maybe lah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the stigma. Yeah. Sure. Maybe yeah. that's the okay. top of my head. What I can think of. Would you Would you be comfortable? Male, female. I would be comfortable either way. Yeah. As long exactly. as you save my that, life. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. long. Uh, yeah. And I don't want you to like repeatedly chuchu lah. So it, like. I care if the person just cares. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Yeah. And and male nurses are macho, you know, something that, oh, you become a male nurse, you're like a soft, no, they are macho. I, I had a student nurse um, uh, when I interviewed uh, to join the nursing program. Mm. Um, his parents, uh, fa- uh, mother's a teacher, father's a military man. Wow. I was like, awesome. I said, you're, you're, you're that okay, uh, you know? Mm. One like gang-ho job or something. No, he said, okay, and supports. So, Yeah. Um, so I guess I would say stigma sometimes, you know. It's definitely ah, stigma. But I really, I mean, male nurses are really good. Really okay, good. Okay. Even from a practical perspective, they perform just as well as females oh, do. Oh, definitely. Um, in, um, that's why they are placed in certain areas that don't really define gender concern, like emergency department or ICU oh, or yeah, you know, yeah, hemodialysis. Yeah, that as context. compared to ward nursing or postnatal ward, you know, right. you know where we more, do a yeah. lot of uh, vaginal care, you know, you will not have a male nurse over there, mm-hmm. you see? As compared to, you know, if you US is totally different. Mm. Yeah. The, the way nurses are advocated there or UK or Australia. Yeah. So in, in Malaysia, you'll see more of them uh, in uh, in hemodialysis departments. You'll see emergency department. So imagine a, a, a drunken uh, uh, patient coming in. Mm. Yeah. And starting to be the quite well. Yeah, male nurses be... Yeah, they need the physical yeah. prowess. Yeah. I, I had one, one guy... Um, that um, he he had a. Uh, I I don't know what was the there is some thing that was happening lah, but don't know lah. This maid came lah, uh, and uh, we were doing treatment for her, and then he came in and he says, "How can you treat her?" You know, and things like that. And um, uh, he was threatening, very very threatening. And I'm I'm talking to him. I said, "Sir, you know, because it's an emergency, we have to attend. Uh, that is what we have to do. Um, yeah. uh, any emergency department has to do that." So he said, "No, but you were pointing." So all I needed was my male nurse behind me. Mm. You just <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, like you just need to step. You know. So you just had. I just had my male nurse behind me. That's it. So he didn't. Peek-a-boo. Yeah, he didn't push further. You see. Uh, so. That's why you see, you know, nowadays in a lot of healthcare centers, you have signages to say "Don't shout at the staff." If what? Yeah, I've seen that in the hospital. Mm. Really? Sad, isn't it? I haven't that. seen it. I haven't seen yeah. this. Uh, see, I have not been to the hospital. I only a seen. Only <laughs> <laughs> really, you've been there more than me. I've been more. Tamak Desa is my home, bro. Second home. The hospital <laughs> eh? is my house. I've only seen like we have the right to refuse service la, in restaurants. What? But we have never the restaurants. Oh. restaurants. Yeah, but I've never seen hospital. no yelling at what? La. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's abuse of, uh, you know, because people feel like they have the entitlement to shout. Yeah, just because I they pay for help. They yeah. have any entitlement to shout. Know? What's what the point? Yeah. And then you're like interfering with your job as well because you're trying yeah. to save many people, right? Not just one fellow, right? Like for example, you know, um, okay, so the doctor's supposed to come at 9 a.m. to see your mother, mm. okay? And then you have taken time off work sure. and then you're waiting, waiting. And then the doctor 9.30 also hasn't come yet, you know? Then you ask the nurse. That's the doctor. Yep. Yeah. Then the nurse goes, now, okay, go and check. And then the doctor says, uh, I'm in... Um, uh, I'm in an emergency now. Okay, I'll call you later. Put down. Then you go to the patient. No, the doctor is in a, you know, in emergency. Okay. Then ten o'clock. The doctor still hasn't turned up yet. Then you go and ask the nurse, but the tone has increased. Sure. Because you are under your stress. You have taken time off work. Yeah. In order to attend. Okay. Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. Transferred to the nurse. A bit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse has so nothing to do with it. It's your messenger, so, la, so you should think messenger. So here the nurse is saying, yeah, okay, sir, uh, you know, no, you said nine o'clock, why, why is the doctor not here? What do you mean emergency? Yeah. And then the nurse has to go back and start, and then he calls the doctor, it's already 10 o'clock, so doctor, are you, don't call me, I told you I'm in emergency, isn't it? Oh, okay. Your, quit your job after that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have to go back, and then you hear, you have the relative at the counter, yeah, standing down on you, you know, so you're like, 
What can I do, lah? What can I do? Uh, I'm quite naughty sometimes. Um, so when 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 the doctor does arrive, then I go like, doctor, you know, they were asking just now why you couldn't come at nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, maybe you want to s- tomorrow let them know what time you'll be able to come. Nice, so nice. <laughs> were they really a bit, in an a emergency? Bit subtle. Said, it's no, very subtle. Were they, were they really in an emergency or what? I mean, sometimes really lah, right? Um, but sometimes maybe not. You also don't yeah, know. Yeah, sometimes their clinic runs late. Yeah. Okay, so the doctors have ample uh, lots of patients, mm-hmm. uh, you know. So uh, understandable. So you say no, I got a lot of patients. How you going to tell the patient? How can you tell the relative? I'm sorry, doctor not coming because got a lot of patients. Then he will turn around and say, my mother also patient one. Yeah. Then you know, there's no right answer to there's this. No, yeah. So yeah. it's just the understanding of family members that <coughs> you know when the nurse is trying, she's trying, you know, and she's in the middle, just like a waiter taking your order. And then the chef fucks up or whatever. Yeah, so. and then you start shouting at the waiter, say, "How can you serve me this kind of food?" It, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, man. Mm. <laughs> I, I I feel this is across all like I mean yeah. events. So yes. It's the same thing. Human ethics, lah, bro. It's right. just no lah. I think people just hard to, you know, one of the reasons why this podcast exists. Also, I feel right. right? Is this is born out of frustration that people actually don't know much about the career. Yes. You know, like, yeah. you, you would just assume, oh, nurse is rubbish. just meant to just bring me medicine and jaga me, and right? And clean diapers. Oh, flip my bed, la, whatever, make me comfortable. You yeah. see, they don't really know that you have to do a lot of reports, you have shifts, you have to assist with the doctor, you have to grab the medication. You do a lot, right? Yes. And it's the same thing when it comes to art-based stuff. Like, if it was a designer and then you have a client, yeah. Then you you have to tell your client, look, it's really backlogged and you told me that you needed this by Friday, but now you changed it, you needed it by Monday. So obviously, I need to shift things around to accommodate. Yeah. But you, it's so many things. So you shoot the messenger, like you shoot the client servicing person, which is the nurse. <laughs> Every time, I swear. So I, I, with this podcast, right? maybe right, if you listen, right, just have a bit of fucking empathy, like, bro. Empathy. Can yeah. nurse mm. just date doctors? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Grey's Anatomy. I've married doctors. Oh, can lah. Uh. Mm. Oh, cute. Interesting. Now I've Okay. But is there a stigma in the <laughs> hospital where you're not supposed to? It's like forbidden romance, nothing? Or people are, nah. are fine with it? Nah. I don't think there's a conflict of interest, right? Everyone's goals are aligned. It's not like yeah. in a corporate doctors- world if I'm dating my boss and it's kind of different. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, doctors marry doctors. Doctors marry nurses. Okay. Yeah. Nurses marry doctors. Yeah. So let's say there's no forbidden love forbidden, No forbidden rules, uh? Yeah. All fruit mm. is okay. for harvesting. So, <laughs> let's say person B yeah. right here needs a heart transplant, mm-hmm. and then I die, idea, okay? Mm-hmm. Then she took my heart. Mm-hmm. Will she inherit my characteristic? So right, the other day, oh. I was at work, right. and I went over to uh, my girlfriend's place, mm. uh, her, her her shop. Okay, and uh, so for context, she, she she runs a restaurant, right? So yeah. there was like, there was a stray cat outside. Um, and it just looked damn cute, right? So <laughs> naturally, and it was it looked kind of sickly, to be honest. So oh. I felt I felt really bad. Was it a kitten? Uh, it's not it's not a tiny kitten, but generally still a young cat. Oh. Uh, so sort of just decided to rescue it. Okay. Uh, so I had to rush all the way back home from PJ. Uh, get a pet carrier, rush all the way back, and I'm sweating like nobody's business. It's fucking hot recently, man. Yeah, yeah. So I decided to just rescue the cat. Uh, and I still had to go back to work after that. So oh my lord. Long ass day. Uh, put the cat in the carrier, brought it back to the vet, uh. went through that whole debacle, brought it back home, went back to the office, sweating like bananas. Uh, but bec- because this whole time I'm wearing bottom slaps pants. Oh shit. Yeah. S- sweat free. This, yeah. Despite being insanely sweaty on the inside, still very presentable. Mm. Had a very productive meeting. Went home, had a beautiful shower. Fucking sick. Yeah. Fucking went sick. through the day. It's like that cameraman story at like, that time. I remember I was shooting with Chuck also. They're sweating also, but then it's still like much okay. Yeah, right? do it. Still breezy, still stretchy. Precisely, shit. yeah. Fuck, awesome. man. You should totally get some bottom that pants, guys. Yep. You should use the code YAMCHA10. Get 10% off. Yeah, check out. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the podcast and do support us. I think the pants are an incredible partner, partnership. And Definitely. I feel like I believe in the product as well. Saves cats, saves lives. <laughs> right. Enjoy the rest of the podcast, guys. Love you long time. Uh, it has been a, uh, it has this been researched. I need to ask. No, it has been researched. Actually, this one. See, I don't just ask stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read Am about I the only that. Sane guy? Um, <laughs> what? It's, it's a really good. It's a good. No, question. it's like it's like a question of of like 
uh, if boy gay is boy gay, what makes boy gay boy gay? <laughs> I right? don't know if the next person will so have a lot of accidents. You're me, right? <laughs> if both of us are compatible, yeah. okay, and I needed a heart transplant, boy gay was like, John, give you my heart. You would then I when I get up, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I am boy gay now. What are you talking about? As the nurse, it's really? it's a philosophical thing, right? Yeah. So if I if I remove my arm, I'm still me. So I yeah. know I'm not my arm, right? But if I remove my heart, I die. So perhaps I'm my heart. So if I, I give you my are your heart brain to John, love. right? I d- is that really true? <laughs> I get away. With, I want to see is John. Is that really like, true? <laughs> you want to give me Poggy's heart? Wow, swing your own. And then I'm like that. Suddenly so you'll be yeah, drinking yeah. Rassam every day. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does, does, it, does it affect you? I don't call mom. Like, I call Amma. I go back home. Like, hey, Amma. <laughs> Bro, fuck off. La. Amma. You give me your brain maybe. La. I think that one can. <laughs> wait, let, 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 you said something about research, right? And there, there has been some research about it. Not really significant. Oh, really damn significant. it, bro. That would be interesting. Yeah. Wait. And um. Most of the time, you don't know where your your organ comes is. From. Yeah, because oh. we don't want it to be a, a procurement, yeah. no, a procurement of organs. Huh? We don't want it to be um, because that's why that's the that privacy. So you don't know who uh, donated because sometimes, uh, you know, there's the 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 other world of organ donation, right? Oh, oh people, you're putting it very lightly. It's the black market, uh, now. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So that's why uh, this is very the the conf- confidentiality is very very important, uh, where you don't know uh, you know mm. who's organ or uh, right. just like blood you you won't know what uh, Sarawanan's blood no yeah. you Mine won't is know. Oh minus. Okay. Wow. Fun you fact. Donor? Huh? Fun fact. Mm. Alah, I have something my mind I forgot what to say. Okay, <laughs> wait. What about brain? Mm-hmm. What about brain transfer? <laughs> Does that person become a different person? I don't know why I keep dropping. Does that person become a different person? If you transfer someone, can you brain? even transfer transplant brain? I don't think I you can. I think there was one. I think there was one case where uh. it's not that long ago. Like what? The, the first successful bro, that's get out brain bro. transplant. If I'm not mistaken, I've not really. Bro, hmm. your brain right has so many the, nerves. You know, the the latest was a pig heart, right? Just like, oh yeah, maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, yeah, the yeah, latest that was a pig heart, better, but yeah. he didn't survive. Um, yeah, but he survived yeah. for a while. Yeah, he right? didn't reject the organ immediately. Yeah, yeah. And then Wait. I think it was like a couple of years uh, or so. Uh, like month, no, no, a few weeks. Within a few weeks oh, or months. Then Wait, so you put a pig's heart paper. into a human being? Uh, because you're quite adaptable to... We are quite similar, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Wait, we put a pig's heart in a human's brain. Huh? You put a pig's heart in a human's brain? Are you listening to yourself? A pig's heart into what the fullest heart. What uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, wait, wait, laughs> is not, It's not, it's not <laughs> grass jelly. What he said, what? I just repeated what he said. Bro, did I say put heart in the brain? We watch the podcast. Uh, I swear. Now, do you want his oh, brain? You want, you want put money in? No, no. I want money. Now, do you want his brain? <laughs> we do fifty push up on podcast. I want money, bro. I want money, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm broke. But ba- basically, <laughs> do you really want his brain now? No, yeah, pretty smart, ah. Huh? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so you put the pig's heart into the person's ah, cavity, lah. I think came out in the paper slate, lame. Yeah, yeah. But brain impossible, lah, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of nerves, man. You must be some Wakandan shit, you know. Uh, you are like Shuri. Ah, like uh, yeah, Shuri. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is, I think if you if you had brought this conversation, say, just fifty or a hundred years ago, transplanting and a heart seems absurd too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. The complexities are n- not yeah. to be yeah. underestimated, yeah, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So who's to say? Right? Mm-hmm. For brain. Mm-hmm. Uh, AI is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and robotic surgery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, don't know. I can't imagine a day where you swap brains. I think that one legit will you will be different. Legit, like. This is your external hard drive. I mean, not even external, it's internal yeah. hard drive. Like, yeah. but you get the point. Yeah. It's basically all your memory in here, you know. This is your cognitive function. It's yeah. your speech. It's everything, yeah. right? So technically, right, if you swap brains, right, actually not even technically, la, it is logic, la, right? If you manage to sambung all the nerves, right, <laughs> you will wake up in a different body that like you're like the face off, right? You know, John Travolta. <laughs> face on, face off. That's what I was thinking yeah, about that. John Travolta, <laughs> Nick Cage, la, you like Nick face Cage. off. You know, that thing, la. Bro, you could be like, you can <laughs> you can feel how to be an Indian for a day, they transplant back the brain, you know? Wow, bro, yeah, it's right. a different level of it's height, you know. I'll be looking at people like, wow, I Wasn't am that Puyge. the movie like Kevin Kevin Baker? It, it's Get Out, uh, Get Out, Get Out. What? Kevin get Out Bacon? can't get out. Yeah, yeah, they get transfer it. the brain, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Messed up, right, messed up yeah. movie. Have you seen Get Out? It's by uh, Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele, yeah. Oh, sure, seen it. I'll send you a link. I think oh, you'll yeah. enjoy it. That's a fantastic movie. You should watch I it. I think Kevin Bacon was also this one, right? He gets into the computer. He transfers himself. Kevin Bacon. Much I'm familiar. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Then, uh. you know, there's one scene I can remember where she throws blood, then you can see the fella, then he would be walking. Like no, la, that's Invisible Man. It's like... Uh, but he transferred his, this one into him, right? Into no, 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 the no, no, no. It's a... Um, it's a... Uh, what's that? Oh, fuck. It's not Invisible Man. La. Invisible Man is just... He's just invisible. <laughs> There's nothing. No, it's this one, right? 
Oh. Are you sure? Oh. Hollow man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he paint blood on him and he's walking around. You see yeah, the footsteps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's different, like this one. But I, I know I've seen a few where they swap, la, like the brain and all that. Like face off, la. face off is the nearest one. La. But it's a face, la. it's not brain. But, but, <laughs> but you're very true. I mean, the way uh, modern medicine or technology it's is running, it's... You can't tell, right? Uh, and now yeah. because of the MCO, everything went boom into a lot of digital, a lot of... Mm, mm. Yeah, so, I mean, you really don't know. Yeah. It's exciting to, to hear that la, in a way, but at the same time, it's also quite tragic because I feel like a yeah. lot of us, I don't think are meant to live long, but I mm. got a feeling a lot of us will live to be 100. Yeah. yeah. Like, you it's know, getting longer. Right? Mm. And it's because it's... The lifespan. Yeah, lifespan is extending, but I don't know about life, quality of life. Because mm. from what I see, a lot of us that do grow old, like I'm 30, right? And I'm already, I don't know whether you've heard it, I've been like cracking my knee this whole time. <laughs> It's like bad. <laughs> my body is in terrible condition. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what my quality of life would be. Would I be hooked up to a machine at 60, 70, 80? Mm. I don't know, right? But I know you can preserve your life. Whether yeah. you want to preserve your life is a whole It's how you life. want to make it qu- a quality life. Yeah. 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 So, so what tough. goes in also. Yeah. yeah. Like what you consume. Yeah. You know, whether it's whether you smoke or whether you eat too mm. much, I don't know, oily food or whatever, you don't jug yeah. up proper diet. Yeah. You know? Or even if you exercise a lot, but you exercise in the wrong way, so you start running and then your knees just wear out. <laughs> Multitude of Talk reasons. Talk about exercise and think of guys who work out in the gym. Then they like to bulk up. Oh, it's not exhibit. And they got two yeah. chicken legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, nee, luckily you didn't say that when he was here. Nah. <laughs> Pugim will feel personally attacked. <laughs> Bro, nee, he will feel so attacked. Nee. I'll be like, what? Hey, it's genetic. Lah. No. I'm telling you. No, they just like to, you know, bulk, 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 and then protein up. and But huh. they don't, they forget. They forget. To, I'm, I, I'm a gym buff, lah, yeah. you know, but now I do more home workouts. But they forget this. The leg day lah. Yeah, this this hey, hey, I, damn I think it's a it's a socially or at least it's in trend, right? It's in fashion, yeah. so to speak, to have that Dorito shaped yeah. body, right? Yeah. Johnny Bravo. Ah, uh, it's just in fashion that. Yeah, you, you, you the what? pecs, then the bicep, then the tricep, then they walk, you know. But she's you know, talking know. about you, Boogie. No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it's, it's genetic it's, I can tell you this for sure because right this guy right he can eat like fucking nasi goreng kambing whatever whack 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 next day take off shirt eat back you know rip the <laughs> alright for me and you could get that if you have his brain mm, I don't know about that <laughs> then after that I swap brain and heart and then I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about that shit fuck off no and this guy, right, I guarantee you, right, works a lot harder on his legs than the rest of the body. Hey. A lot. I can, I'm at, bro, every time we go to the gym, I just see him like tiptoeing because he's just like... Doing calf raises. Yeah, doing calf raises. Like whole time. He say when he shower, calf raises. <laughs> when he, Jesus. When he's not doing anything, calf raises. <laughs> he's just tiptoeing, tiptoeing. Tip. But my calves are still bigger. Yeah. But I don't have a, I don't have an eight pack. The moment right. I eat one bowl of rice, that's it. Like, I already gained twenty kg already. I'm just e- that even though the bowl of rice is like, like less than one gram. Yeah. <laughs> mathematically, I what absorb the water and it just holds on. And it's like yes, the carbohydrates are in you now. <laughs> that's why I like oh yeah lah. Now I'm hundred and fifty kg already. Uh, forget it lah. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, not, not I'm like, eighty. Okay. But it's like I can lose weight to seventy. Then I have like one week of. You know, this week, yeah. I'm going to relax a bit. Yeah. I'm going to have some rice and noodles. Mm. That's it, bro. I'm back to mm. 80. I wasted yeah. three months of working out. I'm <laughs> like, what? I don't even know how, how this is fair. Yeah. yeah. The hardest is that. Because you've got these two little fellas sitting on your shoulder. You know, one says, never mind, just eat. No, both are. Uh, both are Indian guys. Oh, and they tell me to eat in, uh, banana leaf rice. Oh. They're like, fuck, la, I can't even listen to one of you. Maybe they should speak Tamil or something. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't understand, right? <laughs> exactly the point. And they swap one. They'll change one to a Chinese guy. <laughs> two Chinese guys, they like mala hot pot. You know, they're like, oh no. What am I missing, man? You're going to fill me up, bro. No, she was saying, okay, a lot of people now, they go to the gym and they work out really hard. Okay. Right? Because they want that whole like, you know, Physique, uh, but then their legs like chicken legs. Go to excuse. <laughs> I really feel attacked. At the Go to excuse. <laughs> no, that's why I was defending you. Yeah. I was saying how you work the hardest among everybody I know on leg day. As long as it's proportionate, I think you'll be. Okay. Do you think his Do you think his legs are proportionate? I think you say no. Go and stand, bro. This show. <laughs> I think he's gonna say no. Wait. Dude, I think really right. He worked damn hard, you know. Yeah, it's alright. 
Proportionate. What? Yeah. You see, I think maybe it's reflective. He keeps <laughs> looking in the mirror, right? And then he keeps thinking it's not big enough. Hey, this is proportionate, man. What, what do you need? He needs... You want to see mine? You see my leg? Yeah, I saw. You saw my calves, yeah. right? Dude, yeah. my calves are like mad. La. Even Andrew's one, it's like a Chinese yeah, I think thing. It's a, I think it's yeah. in our family. It's just yeah. genes. It's yeah. a genetic thing, for I sure. because recently my calf got a bit more bigger as well. You know? But you play yeah. football, right? I don't. I, in uh, fact, I'm a very bad footballer. Then you were saying what sports? But I you broke run. my... You run. Yeah, when I, play, I run a lot. But I broke some of my... I stopped playing football because I broke my toe and my arm. Oh, okay. That was one of the main reasons. But when I play football, I... I st- I, I right. think it's a, yeah. it's a genetic thing. It's a gene, for sure. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Like, I've seen like Chinese guys with skinny legs, they try them hard as well, cannot. I know, <laughs> like, you know, the other day I was having lunch with one of our Patreon members. His name is Dinesh. Then Dinesh looked at my legs. He's like, fuck, man, how you get such thick ass yeah. calves, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I was born with this shit day. I said, I wish I was as tall as you, man. It's just yeah. It's yeah. life, right? I yeah. wish yeah. I, well, like, I got some calf, like, you know. You got, you got, yeah. Yeah. You got, you got, you got I worked so hard on my leg, man. Shit. Yeah. Bro, now I can do 60 kg. Uh, I can't remember what's that, that thing called. L- but leg, leg extension. Thing. Leg, leg uh, extension, uh, extension. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's not light, bro. <laughs> oh, 60 leg extensions is yeah. heavy, man. That's not light, bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. But your leg's still bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah. And I, I can probably only do like 8, eight kg, bro. Proportionate. Proportionate. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you see. Then you'd be walking in the gym, you see their calf, you <laughs> well, Sometimes when I do it in the gym, right? Because be wrong. Yeah. What I do is I take out my shirt and I gym, uh, you know, I got I gotta feel that man mm, ripness, mm, you know. Mm, mm. Then I look at my leg and I like, shit lah. Maybe you should just wear jeans. I, I hate wearing jeans. Or wear long pants when you go work out, then you won't feel so bad. <laughs> For me, I wear a shirt lah, so <laughs> that's why I guess. Oh, you just wear leotards with the the calf protectors that they play for. Oh, the oh, 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 then it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. come yeah, out. It looks ripped. Yeah. Like bulge a bit. Right. In my mind, I know it's strong. Yeah. You are damn strong, lah, bro. Yeah, you are damn mind. strong. For sure. This one, I'm not even being sarcastic. Poggy is damn strong. But I feel this is because, right? Yeah, I'm damn weak. It, it's, a, it's, a re- it's a reverse, bro. You see, right? You don't need to wear your shirt. He goes into the gym. It's a condo gym. Like. He just goes in and his physique is top notch. He's got veins. He's got, he's got dick root, you know, this guy. He looks great. Good. He has no I idea. have to wear a shirt. <laughs> she has no idea what the hell is that. What is what? Dick roots? <laughs> you know dick root? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know dick root, right? I mean, you know there was dick root, lah. Okay. What? That's an actual term, ah. Yeah. I call it the Banjaran Titi Wangsa, man. Yeah. 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 But he can look like that, you know, and he can like not diet for like one month. Diet three days, he's back. Yeah. Eight pack, you know, like you can see, bro. You know, it's like you can some, wash clothes yeah. on top of that shit. Some right? are just lucky. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what are you, man? You do, yeah, but, but yeah, compared yeah. to a lot. So you have the calves. Yeah. He has. It's only if you had to fusion, bro. Yeah, I have like the abs and the chest. Yeah. Damn nice. So it's, it's like that, man. Hey, you know when you're nursing, right? Mm. Does, you know when you're like, the people are the pass away or whatsoever, right? and then you do your dissect and everything, right? I'm just curious. If like you post mortem? Yeah, post mortem, post mortem. Okay, we, Not we don't do time, autop- Oh, you autops- don't do, but well, are you there to see? No. Oh, you can't see, yeah. Uh. Okay, so um, autopsies uh, or post mortems are not uh, for all deaths. It's only if you want to investigate, if right? There is, yeah, some element of uh, crime or um, you know something has, uh, yep. you know, or um, it is uh, <coughs> unspecified di- uh, death within twenty four hours. That means you come or uh, and then uh, within six hours, eight hours, then you die. You know, uh, so we we don't know. We're trying to find the cause of death. Uh, then yes, uh, they go, uh, but. For private hospitals, we usually transfer them out to government hospitals for where they have oh, the facility to do a postmortem. Is it only government hospitals who mm. can do postmortem? Yes. I thought they go to the yeah. morgue, right? Ah, they um we uh, morgues are body holding areas oh, they within don't do any vis- any uh, any hospital. Oh. Yeah, but they don't do uh, autopsies oh, postmortem. Okay. Yeah, so they have to go to a designated area that for is like post-mortem. an entire mm. department uh, that actually stores. Assess, uh, does the, the the postmortem autopsy and then reports. I, I swear see. to God, right? Just for just for context, right? If y'all don't know what postmortem means, it's not postmortem report like you know, at work. You corporate slaves out there. Yeah, because no, right, it's the only when I, I knew about postmortem mm-hmm. when I watched movies with my dad when I was young. My okay. dad told me that's a postmortem. I'm like, cool, that's what they do. <laughs> that's how they found out about crime. Yeah. And when I go start working, they're like, hey, John, do a postmortem. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Postmortem report, bro. I'm like, where's yes, the body? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, actually, yeah. You, I don't that's know how they use the, the, yeah, term. the term. I swear to God, I feel like I should just say it. It's so that people are listening to this. It's like, okay, okay, thanks, John. Thanks. I didn't want to ask the question. Yeah. Because it's the end result. Yeah. Mm. That's but why they do a postmortem. I don't think a lot of people do postmortems in Malaysia, though, because. I think if you pass away, it's more or less, you know, over here, I don't know whether it's, right. you can, you can right. tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, I think if people pass away, people feel as if there is no real need to do a postmortem. Like, the guy already passed away, right? Mm. Like, am I really going to cut him up just to find out mm. what's wrong? Unless it's a right. very, very, like, rare Suspicious. case. Suspicious. Yeah, something like that. Then yeah. maybe. Yeah. And even that, I, I feel like they would be somewhat 50-50 about it because they're like, will it, like, change the world? Right. Or, I mean, if it's a case and all that and it's related to like breaking the law, then obviously you have to. Yeah. But I think majority of the times, people just don't opt for postmortem. Yeah. It's, it's a messy endeavour, right? Yeah. So if it's of natural um, uh, flow of, uh, a mm. natural death, uh, so to say, okay, so this person had cancer, terminally ill, yeah. you know, so mm. you know, yeah, so you, you know, basically you know the reason. Oh, this person has <coughs> a very high risk, had a heart attack before, mm. you know. Um, of course, sometimes uh, we see the, 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 Cause of death is um, sudden death or cardiac arrest. Like yeah. everyone dies of cardiac arrest. Yeah, it's right. quite it's it's quite out there, man. <laughs> yeah, so but that's sometimes what is written in the death, uh, you know, cause of death, cardiac arrest. Everyone dies of cardiac arrest. I mean, because your right. heart stops, right? The heart yeah, stops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me top you up. Um. Oh, thank you. So um. Thanks. Hey, thanks. So um, but if there is an element of suspicion. Um, or uh, you know your family member has been um, uh, say away you, you do, okay say um, it's your cousin and, and you know your cousin has been going through some tough times you know yep. and then you hear a person passes away then you want to know hey, you know or say it's your son okay say your son um, has been living away and then some uh, and then suddenly dies you want to know then you but can to request the point you you can request, yeah. but you have to pay. You have to pay, right? Uh, for government... Um, one ringgit. One ringgit. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not very sure. <laughs> uh, but we, when I, I work uh, in a hospital, uh, we usually just transfer. There is no cost incurred. Uh, oh. we, we, there's no charges. So, you know, we just transfer you know, the, the body mm. of, uh, or the, uh, of the loved one to the to the, the place uh, where they do to the, the facility. That's it. Yeah, mm. and then after that, the family will follow up with the facility. Mm. I, see, uh, I see. So the hospital usually we don't know what is the following outcome. Got it. Uh, unless it's a police case, then we don't send the body directly. We actually then um, the police will come and uh, take uh, the body or, or, or the uh, you know the the patient. Yeah. Mine sounds a bit intense. So if it's police case, then we we don't uh, handle already. Then they will then handle mm. the following, yeah. Because I guess that's the chain of evidence true, true, true. That they have to maintain. I got, I, I'm out of curiosity, right? Like, <coughs> has has there been a case, right, where you've seen a body been ignored for a long time, and it bloats up? That never really mm-hmm. happens, right? Because you really need to get it out of the way. No, once no, it's no, no, you've no. Um, you see, when a person passes on, mm, the body goes through a process, right? Uh, yeah. uh, then it goes into what we know as phlegomortis, right? Mm. They get stiffened up. So what happens is, um, um, we always have where the loved ones speak final, mm. you know, uh, final to, 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 to... They still can listen. Uh, uh, no, after they've passed oh. on, they've, uh, they want to spend some time, oh, okay, okay, you know, okay. just... Uh, so okay, so what happens yeah. is when the person passes on, uh, we will do a bit of cleaning up, you know. Sometimes there's lines and all, you know. So we remove uh, the when we have IV drip, oh, the drip lines or any tubes and whatnot. So we make uh, their loved one more presentable. You know? uh, yeah. So if there's any uh, plasters or anything, we just remove clean them up. So what we call last office, we do this procedure called last office. Um, wow. And then, uh, so we are trained to do last office. Uh, and after that, then we call the family in. I see. So they, okay. they are clean, you know. and Presentable. Yeah, presentable. Sometimes the family will bring clothing. We'll ask them if you have any clothing. Oh, okay, uh, you okay. want us to... Uh, dress them up. Uh, dress them up. Uh, we will do that. Um, uh, it's very interesting in a sense that different cultures have different... Um, mm, ways to approach it. Uh, yeah. Needs and all. Um, I had uh, last time uh, a monk, a monk that passed away. And we had to do, um, uh, I think it was seven layers of clothing. Wow. Uh, something like that. Uh, so they all have different, different... Um, mm. uh, Rituals in a way. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, you know, and we respect that. We really respect that. Okay. Uh, and it's important for us to know that. 
you know so we know like um if it's um a hindu okay uh, you know they might if it's an indian man you know sometimes they want to wear the veshti or what not mm-hmm. you know uh if you know it's a uh, patriarch of the family uh, then this is different and we know that they don't go to the house they have to go to a funeral parlor uh, because they cannot enter the house anymore wow. but um isn't it so uh, because the after the person passes away they cannot go back into the house they have to go to a funeral parlor wow i didn't is it yeah. which religion is this i didn't know that I didn't know that either. So But I mean, it's, it's different cultures have so yeah. many different practices. So right? different, different. Yeah, <coughs> I had one that we had to wrap up. Uh, this was a young man, uh, and we had to wrap up in red blanket. Yeah. So His favorite color? Um, <laughs> no, something to do with the again with oh. yeah yeah. So it's very important for the nurse to ask the family member. Uh, you know, do you have any uh, requirements or specific right. needs? Uh, and then we do that. Uh, we will um, uh, just follow. No? Follow, yeah, we follow that. Um, sometimes they they um, they would want to just say no, just clean up. We'll do it at home. Mm. Uh, then then that's right. fine. Yeah, and then after that, the family members will come in and uh, they just see the person for the last time, and then we move the body down to the uh, morgue. Yeah, we don't do embalming. Uh, the I one see. the undertaker will do. Yeah, so they will come in. Uh, so nurses, uh, we don't have specific <laughs> undertakers. So people say, uh. "Oh, can you refer?" No, we don't because <laughs> we don't have any engagement. Yeah, it's up to you. We can give you numbers, any telephone numbers, and you choose yeah, uh, who you like to, you know, engage sure. with. For then the that person comes in, and then then the process continues. Well, do they do it in the morgue? Uh, some uh, morgues have the space. Uh, wow. Nowadays, more hospitals they have that space. So, uh, once the undertaker comes, then they'll do that embalming uh, because uh, you need to do that. Otherwise, uh, your body decomposes. Yeah, and, and yeah. as family members, it's not an easy sight to see. Yeah, so your loved one like that already. So that's why embalming is important. Yeah. Have people ever asked to be mummified? <laughs> no. No. Wow. So, so we have just gotta be sure. Different religions, yeah, either cremation, <laughs> Egyptians, uh. oh burial, yeah, cremation or burial, uh, usually. Yeah, at the moment. So somewhat of a weird question, right? So, I there are just so many different things that everyone in the hospital does, like uh, like dressing up a dead body, for example. Mm-hmm. Is that charged to the? <laughs> Customer <laughs> or the loved one, yeah, because it's super awkward, right? Like if I send the invoice, right, and then it just says, like dressed with red blanket, nine hundred bucks. <laughs> a bit awkward, right? It's like no. I mean, you put it might be cheaper service. if it was. I think it's part of the service. Is um, uh, service no, charge. not not to put a red medical blanket. cut. Um, sorry. Sorry, no, wait, no. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, when we look at last office, then that's a procedure. Mm. Uh, as a procedure, there will be use of supplies. Then, then yes, that I that see. will be the supply judge. But other than that, uh, no, there's no 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 charges of. Because this, I think yeah. they have to bring the red blanket or that one, ma. They will just uh. ask what you want to do, then they bring the. The stuff. family will yeah. bring. But that's yeah. also just one example, right? I'm sure there are like tons of just unique mm. asks from patients. Remove the eyeballs no. so I can keep it in a jar. No. no. Oh, okay. A bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was like you uchiha thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> But we we it it's <coughs> very important to treat death with utmost respect. Based on what the family wants. Yeah. yeah. Um. If we, uh, when we when we're handling death, and then you know, if we are like, oh, you know, the person has died, and we are very um, joking, joking. Mm, it's not. It's, it's not good look, lah. It's it's very disrespectful. Oh, I have that problem. Yeah. Whenever I go to a funeral, I laugh. I don't know. I just Nita is judging you hardcore, bro. Yeah, I know. Nita's face <laughs> of no, judgment. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's a problem. It's a problem. Nita I, is I, a nurse I and she's judging stand you. Sad place. <laughs> okay. So I just feel the need to just try to make people, you know, sort of like happy and everything. Right. And I, so I it's a big problem for me. Uh, I, uh, I guess that's your coping mechanism. I just, I, I think that's how I cope. Like. I try to talk and make people happy. Yeah. You know, like Chandler in Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chandler. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Shit. Mm. Oh well. Okay. Actually, more like, isn't I don't know, isn't he like Joey in a way? No, Chandler. Is it? If he loves a failure. Chandler loves. Yeah, a Chandler fa- loves a failure. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. I But it's uh, different. People have different coping mechanisms, right. so don't don't judge yourself too hard. Uh, it, no, it's I had just to just let it know first. Like, <laughs> 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 well, a lot of people like you should get up for them. Like, it's yeah. not that I want to 
I don't mean yeah. bad. I just that's just how that's I cope. That's how you cope. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah I just go back home. No, when Pu Balan passed away, you were quite sad. No joking, nothing. I bet I was at home at first. Yeah, I think it depends. Ah, uh. depends the scenario. Mm. No, because when, scenario. when I go to a funeral, because everyone is so sad, I just cannot stand the the vibe. Yeah, uh. there, you know? there was this <coughs> very sad aura that's ah. surrounding it, and Lovely, even though you're not sad when you get into it, you feel. Really right. sad, yeah, yeah. really yeah. affected by it, yeah. Actually, we should yeah. jump to your career. I totally feel like we have had so much conversation, but we haven't <laughs> jumped to what you're doing right now, right? Okay. So, um, how did you make that transition from being a full-time nurse to doing training and everything? What was the transition like and why? Money. Okay, <laughs> all right. No. I know, I know. No. <laughs> so, why and Wait. how? Okay, I'll ask this later, okay? Yeah. So, why and how? Okay, so um, like it, I mean, I've been in nursing for twenty four years. Mm. Uh, I've been in a healthcare setting. So, uh, and then with uh, MCO uh, hitting, mm. and it was like okay, uh, and and the the last uh, um, job that I was doing, you know, so the uh, I I said okay, let, now let's see what else, because I always come to this crossroads. What else, mm. you know? Mm. Uh, mm. So it's mm. like from um, one portfolio, I went into teaching. Then from one portfolio, I went into greenfield project management. Then another portfolio, I went back into operational. So this is another crossroad. And it's like, okay, now what I, can I contribute? So then I was thinking, yeah, I, I mean, I used to do this CPR training long time. Uh, way back from 2013 onwards, 2012, 2013 onwards, I was training uh, people in CPR already. And then I was thinking, okay, and then you have a lot of nurses who are young and joining, when I say young, young in experience, mm -hmm. um, they also can benefit from, uh, you know, nursing education talks, you know, uh, or learning about new diseases or nursing care. Um, and then um, now I branched into medical legal, uh, we talk a lot about negligence, clinical negligence, you know, when there's issues, you know, um, communication just, yeah. is a concern. Sometimes, uh, you see, no doctor or nurse goes to work thinking today I must do like, you know, two mistakes, you know. Nobody does. <laughs> what? No, no, no mistakes. Nobody does that. You see, we are, we are human, you know, we are human. Yes, definitely we should not make mistakes, you know. But, but we are also human, yeah, therefore it, we do make it, mistakes. And when it happens, sometimes, um, you know, okay, for example, if a surgery and then the outcome is not as what you, uh, you had thought. So it comes back to how that communication transpired. You know, what mm. was the information given? What was the understanding? How was it? Yeah. Uh, so it comes into that. Yeah. Uh, so um, I was thinking, okay, so let's now try this, this crossroad mm. and, and take it from there. You know, um, being a nurse for 24 years, I've been from, um, you know, you were asking what, is the weight that a nurse does is like, I would say, 80% of the entire nursing care, uh, you know, where we are with the patient from uh, every single minute of the time. Um, so we we literally know, sometimes the patient long term, we, we know the whole family, like a hemodialysis. I mean, uh, naturally, they, because they keep yeah. coming in anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You family, you know? bro. Yeah. <laughs> you the family now. Yeah. Yeah. Three days, say hemodialysis patients, uh, dialysis patients is like three days, uh, they come in, uh, alternate days for dialysis, mm. for like 10, 20 years. Wow. You imagine your family. Yeah, man. You know, so that's how, um, and I think that's important for nurses to foster that relationship. Then it's easier. When we, when we talk to patients and whatnot. Naturally. So, uh, we, we, uh, with that experience, you know, uh, knowing, like, okay, say a patient comes in with a fracture straight away, I've put the x-ray form for the doctor to sign off. Or I know the person may have uh, a brain um, injury. Okay, so the MRI form is already there with the blood, all the blood forms and a, a blood form to group and cross-match. It's cross -match. on standby, so it's easier. So, yeah, so as a nurse, you're thinking already, you know, not not just waiting for the doctor to tell you. Um, get me that form, get me this, and yeah, yeah, waste time also, right? Yeah, but sadly, that that is, I mean, I wish nurses would rise from that that point, but sometimes um, when we do that, the doctors say, uh, I know, you just wait for my order, you know? So, oh. yeah, but the newer generation doctors are quite, um, I think, more... Um, um, Verbal, yeah, they can more, communicate. Yeah, I guess it's a different genre altogether. Yeah. But uh, doing all of that helps me more in doing my training. Because now I can use that experience 
and then also share it uh, together with uh, with all this uh, you know um, trainees the, the nursing uh, nurses you know, senior junior nurses look at case studies mm. um, uh, you know have that kind of uh, uh, learning yeah. Know? So we want to make learning a different experience for them. But do you do only training for like nurses and all? But do do you do for like companies? Do you do like workshops and all that? You do right, if I'm not mistaken, because I went through some your your page. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, you guys do like I don't know corporate teach them how to do CPR to yes. work a defibrillator yeah, and everything. Yeah, we offer that. Um, we, um, what I do further, uh, which I'm really really passionate about, because. I really believe everyone should know how to how to do CPR. Mm. Ah, 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 you know, <laughs> just a song done. <laughs> um, one step That's ahead. Be on TikTok, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Taken out of context. <laughs> <laughs> how to do CPR? <laughs> I'll send you. Th- I'll send you the link. Then you can share it with him. Sure. The, sure. Thanks. The, it, it's actually yeah. It's actually a video under American Heart Association. Oh, the cool. AHA, yeah. You can see the guy. He will do. It, then they, then he'll <laughs> he'll point to the DJ, and then the DJ will play the song. Then mm-hmm. he will like look around. Then he'll point. Then he's like he call nine 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 one. Ah, uh, then he'll play the song. When he plays the song, he'll be doing that. That's wow. also they use that for hands only compre- I mean hands only CPR. That means uh, only Which compression. Is the, like double hand on top yeah, on top of the chest. Only, only compression. Yeah, diamond yes. push up. No, it's like that. It's like no. That. <laughs> it's like that, right? Diamond push up. I haven't done that long Bro. time. Uh, it's hand over hand yeah. over hand yeah but basically you're using the hard um, part of your palm uh, in order to compress uh, the sternum well, so I the sternum s- is the one that's pressing onto oh. the heart in order to compress. how do you know how much power to put okay so that's why when you practice and you improve your skill you know your depth oh damn yeah, so the depth, that's why when you go for CPR training, uh, uh, you will learn how deep you have to compress uh, and how fast you have to compress. Uh, and um, uh, when you're doing that compression to the breathing ratio, uh, you need to know how many times you have to compress. What if the person is uh, chubby? So how... You move the man tits aside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, ma. The sternum is always even yeah. if the guy is but fat. There's a layer of uh, lipids. There are plenty of oh. lipids. Then what if it's muscular? <laughs> Stern- oh, same only. Just <laughs> because the sternum is the part that doesn't grow muscle anyway. Yeah. You you, you can still fat. identify and locate, na? So you yeah. just need to know how to locate. If you really damn scared, you just measure the two nipples, the middle part, bro. Bro, I know where's the heart is, bro. Um, yeah, it's but the harder part. I la. always tell attendees, just be careful with the, the the nipple because if that nipple is quite low... Then you're gone. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, because the guy already fat, right? So it's like, man, tits are shit already. Yeah, oh, true, true, so true, true, always true, true. look at the no, la, you, Or you hold the two nipples and you hold it up first, then you find the middle point. Yeah, then you just <laughs> try it if you don't mind me asking, right, how much a basic nurse earns? Okay. Entry level. Maybe that could also be like one of the entry level factors, yeah, you know. Definitely. Um, uh, for us at this moment in in Malaysia, we are still diploma. Then we have to do a degree program. Uh, some countries they go straight into their bachelor of nursing, so they come out as degree nurses. Wow. Yeah, like India, they have degree in nursing. <coughs> you know, Australia looks looks at that. I really hope Malaysia moves into that where all nurses are all degree holders. You know, so then we push up. The profession, uh, yeah, that manner. The level as well. Yeah. You know, uh, but at the moment, it's still diploma and then you do your degree. So imagine you do diploma three years, then you have to do four years or two to four oh years for... Oh my Lord, you waste so much time. So, yeah. And uh, that is actually the requirement, you know, when you want to do your degree. So, sad, but that's how it is. Um, and uh, so from for a three years junior nurse... Uh, with the current market, uh, the current market, you're looking at a gross uh, um, uh, two to two five, up to two eight. You can't leave mm. under three, lah. Yeah, under, under three, three, under three. Under yeah. three is mm. the general. But that is like yeah. Yeah. for for what we do, uh, you know. And you're then doing a lot. Why is you all getting underpaid, yeah, yo? So again, that recognition that uh, you know. That really, uh, especially since you spent mm. so much in school as well. Mm. Um, yeah, school. Like I said, you can be sponsored. It can be your PTPTN. Mm. Um, but 
the load, the the weightage the work, of the, load, of the, the weight, work, bro. Um, you know. And learning part is a lot, man. Yeah, and it's a lot. Um, there are some places that give allowances that. Uh, so that you make have, up for um, food but allowances transport. are givable and takeable, right? Yeah. So yeah, so you have like um, uh, okay, you have um, uh, overtime. Uh, you've got like meal allowance. Uh, you've mm. got um, um. Overtime, you uh, guys have stress allowance, uh, special unit allowance. I'm stressed. Allowance. Give me my money. Yeah. So at one point, um, only certain uh, departments got it, like ICU uh, and A and E, and then the ward goes like, "Hey, we not stress, uh, You know. <laughs> uh, so you know that allowance came out as a stress allowance. You know, you're trying to see how to push up. Yep. Yeah. The market, and they all go with this um, market rate. But my question is always, why can't you challenge the market rate? Yeah. yeah. You know, because everyone does the same. It's never going to go yeah. up. Hence Malaysian pay gap on Instagram. Yeah, it's rubbish, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, we've been talking so much about that, right? Yeah. Let's talk about life. Wow. Mm. Right. I think the we fact. should see that, right? Yes. You have. I'm sure you have done so much taking of the babies, right? Taking of the babies. Uh, Okay. Uh, I don't know how do we call that. Isn't la. that uh how, what's that? Uh, Midwife. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah. those um okay, so when you start off your diploma in nursing, then you can sub specialize. So you oh. specialize further. So I'm a critical care nurse. So I specialize in taking care of critically ill for adults, pediatrics and neonates. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. Or you have those uh, specialized in orthopedics or geriatric nursing. Mm. Or midwife. Ge- what? Geriatric nursing is care for the oh. elderly, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you have midwives. Midwives are staff delivery. midwives. So they handle antenatal, postnatal. Got it. Before delivery, mm. after mm. delivery. Oh, baby. Mm. That's something I need to learn, man, soon. So different, you have Next year, uh, ah. different uh, uh, post basics, what we call them post basics. So you can either go academia, you do your Bachelor of Nursing, mm. uh, or your Master's of Nursing, or you can do a PhD, you can do your doctorate. Or you can go into um, uh, post basic, so you become a specialized nurse. Yeah, um, but that would require more money, right? If you think about it, because you have to go and study even more. That's how you foc- you get your focus. Yeah, so that's where the hospital sponsors you. Oh, yeah. But then you get you need to work with them, ah. Uh. Yeah, lah. They, they, they tie you up, lah. By the time you get bonded, another hospital will buy you. Oh, <laughs> hey, okay, well, it sounds, oh, like, sounds like a football, sounds like club, a football player. Yeah, yeah, man, you like Cristiano Ronaldo of nursing. But but you see. Um, uh, and we do have a lot of nurses also who go overseas. Mm. I mean, uh, Saudi is you know one of the main spots that nurses go. Oh, you know? is yeah. it? And also, um, uh, that's where the money is. Uh, yeah, you, you know? pay you more there. Yeah. So Singapore is another place that people do go to, um, uh, but. Uh, Malaysia not so happening. Yeah. Uh. So when you have a post basic, you have a bit more allowance. Uh, or or your if you jump to another company, then your asking pay is a bit more higher, yeah. But it's still very um, sad. It's my, quite my, ignored now, in a way. My starting was uh, one one zero one. So they give you one ringgit. Specific. One one zero one. <laughs> what, 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 what's with the one at the what end? What's with the one ringgit? Is it pity? What is with the one one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was way back in ninety seven. Ninety seven. So come fast forward, twenty twenty two. It's two five. It's two five. What what kind of kukuchi yes. road is that, bro? I feel so like so. Would you want to be a nurse? The insane amount mm. of workload you guys do simply because I've been in an accident and I know what y'all do. Yeah. Two five is rubbish. Government need to look at this through, man. Yeah. Why are doctors getting paid twenty thirty k? Nurses are doing most of the job. I mean, of course, yeah. you know, they are doing. Some they are partners shit, and uh, they are. Imp- they are like I said. They are the learned uh, uh, driver. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. It's, it's, it just relates back to the, how the government sees this, that's, like you know. But that's what you start with, like, right? And uh, assuming you work in a private hospital, mm-hmm. uh, and of course there are a lot of nuances like specialization and whatnot. Yes. What is what would you say is the average increment per year? So then I can get a sense on like you know, if I start at twenty, where what? would I end up at thirty? And where she would I end up at forty? She don't want to answer the question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a slow grow. Slow. Slow yeah. grow. Yeah, it's a slow grow. Because oh. you see, okay, uh, finance, a uh, 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 business point of view, uh, largest workforce in a hospital? Nurses. 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 Yeah. yeah. So if everyone I give a 200, 300 increment, Met, yeah. your budget impact is going to be mm-hmm. substantial. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
sometimes it's in, we are in, uh, I guess we are the it's good to be the 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 foundation I mean the backbone in that sense but at the same time you know so sometimes when we want to uh, uh, look at uh, like uh, coming back to my uh, KPIs you know so we have KPIs for our nurses and whatnot um, and then of course we we will say okay so our nurses are around my thirty nurses twenty of them are high achievers you know and push forward mm. but of course you have multiple departments in that hospital mm. and some departments they only have ten staff yep. but they have Four high achievers. I've got twenty high achievers. So we got to choose, and then we have to, you know, like. It's a bell curve, lah. It's a bell curve. What are high yeah. achievers? Is it again lives you saved? <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay. No it's KD. Performance. No it's performance. I think. Yeah. Like yeah. Performance you're management. Basically, yeah. performance management. Let that out. What, what are their KPIs? Say I'm a nurse. What is what is the KPI I'm supposed to achieve? Okay. <coughs> so, um, uh, simple example is getting your CPD points. What uh, your attending to continuous of patients, is it? professional development, ah, your okay. training. I see. Like, okay. like soft skill points in college. No, it's kind of like dentistry where you have to CME. Right, right. It's continuous kind of, medical yeah. education. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a simple one because okay. we have to get a certain number of points in order to get our annual practicing license. Got it. Yeah, our APC. It's that's an annual practicing license, so mm. basically you need to renew every year. Yes. Bloody hell, man. I so if you don't receive your number of points, means you're not really fit for that year. Lah, yeah, you, you cannot renew your license. Without wow. your license, you cannot practice nursing. Holy crap. That's insane. Can that's like... That's mad, bro. That's like you have to take a test every year to prove that your occupation is still like um, in line. It, it's not a test. It's basically you the show courses, the number right? of points. Uh, courses, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Mm. Which is important because Actually, you want to... Actually, technically it's a test because it's a, it's a different human being every time. It's technically a test. It's testing like, know. oh, do you know... What no is what, this you guy? Just, you take courses, courses, you get points. Oh, yeah. courses is literal courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, pages. no, you're still on that point. They say how many lives we have to say. Oh, so <laughs> it's absolutely. Tr- no, okay. I'm okay. right, bro. No, you're no, no, not. No, 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 you're not. You're not, not. It's about okay, courses. Okay. It's courses. It's about courses. <laughs> oh, so because you have to be courses. updated. You have oh. to be updated. It's just to keep up with the times, lah. That's all, lah. Uh, the recent developments, the management of dengue has changed. You know. Oh. Uh, though India what? pronounces it as dengue. What's oh, the really? next? I'm gonna call it that from now on. What's <laughs> dengue? Hey, you go dengue, dengue in India. Huh? Indians call dengue dengue. Dengue. Damn Not it. Indians here. I mean, India. India. Oh, uh, that's yeah. fine, lah. Okay. What's the next? Okay. Do do nurses evolve? Uh? Like now you're a nurse. Ten years from now, you're superior nurse. Is it? Oh, he's asking about like job career growth. Ah, yeah, progression. Career growth. Like, yeah. yeah, very good question. Um, so nurses can do, I would say, about everything or anything. Yeah, we can be CEOs of companies. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Actually, technically true, right? Because yeah, you nurse. climb up the, ch- the 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 corporate yeah. ladder, so, so it's like, the same. So it's just your background is nursing, lah. Yeah. So okay. So you got um like remember I was mentioning you can go operational, you can go administration, you mm-hmm. can go into you know administration management, or you can go into lecturing. Oh, true. Yeah. So you can become a professor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you grow as a senior lecturer, then AP associate professor, mm. professor. Do your uh, if you're very research, uh, mm. <laughs> indulgence of research. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I will never go there. Mm. <laughs> so that that's one area. Oh, you can go the operational side where you start off like, as a junior uh, staff nurse and then you come, sure. become a senior staff nurse. Then you can go up as either you want to do education, you can become a clinical instructor, then you can become a tutor. Um, and then you can join that college. Uh, or you can become uh, assistant nurse manager, nurse manager, senior nurse manager. I feel like nobody talks about nursing. this. I feel like nobody talks about this. People always just talk about nurse being, that's oh, it. you just help the doctor. I'm like, what? But that was always been my... Right, like that's always know. been the the window that yeah, we look through. Because, right? okay, who makes the decisions? Yeah, it's the doctor, doctor ultimately. Yeah, who's the one that charges you? But there are times where yeah, nurses... So you have that, that yeah, association. Nurses association. can make decisions, right? If you yes, have yes, yes. to. Oh, yes, yes. We make a lot of decisions. Like, doctor not here. Fuck it! Do it! <laughs> Oh yes, yes, yes. We make a. Uh, we nice. don't say that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's it's more uh, maybe I'm amongst your friends, lah. Um, uh, amongst the other nurses. Sorry about the language. I'm so sorry about that. It felt just very. Common. Doctor X Y Z isn't here. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, like, oh my god, Doctor Jack's not here. Screw him. Let's do it. You know. Watching too many movies. Yeah, too many but movies? yeah. Uh, we do have. We you have to make the call, lah. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Guys definitely, definitely. See now, definitely. I don't now. I don't get. I don't feel why you're still getting paid two point five, bro. <laughs> Definitely. Um, okay, in emergency, I mean, uh, we can't wait. 
you know, for the doctors. Of course, yeah, we ma. can't prescribe. We don't prescribe medication. Uh, not in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. In some countries, we do have prescribing rights. Not in Malaysia. Um, but other than that, uh, if there's a standing order for a certain medication, we assess the situation and then we say, okay, this person's nauseated. We need to give something. Uh, to prevent the yeah. nausea. So we, we make the decision, then we update and we document. Yeah. Or in ICU, that we see there is some, uh, vi- uh, or even in the ward, if we see there is some uh, vital parameters that's giving us uh, indication this guy is going to, you know, uh, it's going to go condition. Into, it, yeah, uh, move into a different state of uh, his illness, uh, then we can update. Uh, nowadays, you know, have a predictive analysis where oh. you use uh, like big data, you know, data science, um, where uh, they say uh, they go into twenty or thirty thousand of patients, and then they look at the the, the graphical trending. And we can also use predictive uh, analysis to say whether this person, when he can discharge or when he might what? turn bad. These are more cool, advanced, cool, cool. going into more going advanced. Going That is shit, insane, bro. man. It's really cool. But that not many places have really uh, adopted this it. Yeah, really no. cool. Yeah. But that means if like I go and I admit myself into the hospital, I have XYZ and all that, because of all that data, they can kind of sort of predict yeah. what day I'm going to be checked out of the hotel. Yeah, yeah. yeah hospital. Wow. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the hotel pula. Yeah, but... Actually, and mm. this is where nurses can <laughs> even go into IT. So you become an IT application nurse. Wow, mm. that so, is insane, man. So like healthcare management systems, uh, yeah, uh, that, those kinds of enterprise and whatnot, you will need the nurse because when you are, nowadays you're moving a lot into the digital platform in order, uh, I mean, telemedicine is, it, it's there, what? You it makes sense. Uh, it makes sense yeah. because if it's applied in other industries, why wouldn't it be applied in life-saving industry? Right? Yeah. Like, this, of course, obviously. So yeah. nurses can do that. So we can go into uh, quite diverse. Uh. Yeah, uh, we can uh, be a CEO of a hospital. I do a few of nurses. Was a GM of a private hospital. Currently, there's another colleague. She's a, a ICU nurse. She's now a CEO of uh, another hospital. Wow. So yeah. Uh, we can go into uh, medical devices. Mm. There's a lot of medical devices companies out there. True. Uh, so we can you go would into have that. On it, yeah. yeah, we go into uh, underwriting insurance. Oh, oh. yeah, huh? yeah. Because uh, we we, uh, we familiar, sit huh? at the back when the bill comes to us. We can say, okay, this guy came in for broken bone. Why is he doing cholesterol? Yeah, true, <laughs> huh? Suddenly you're doing full medical checkup, but he came in for backache. Oh, uh, that's why. That's uh, how you so tally and be like, this guy only can claim X, Y, Z. Yeah, so we can do that. Oh, uh, hmm. aviation nursing. What? Aviation oh, oh, nursing. Yeah, we do uh, evac, uh, repatriation. What's that? Um, uh, we uh, okay. So you have a medical evac. So you can um, so say you fall sick. Um, say, okay, say I went to India and I fell sick, and I need to be transferred back to Malaysia. So the okay. nurse will, the doctor and the nurse will ca- accompany me. Um, on the flight back as well. Oh, back. wow. Yeah, so you can do that. Um, there is one insurance company I will mention, but they do mm. medical evacuation and phew, the, their plane is an ICU. Super huh. awesome. Their plane Whoa. is an ICU. Super this awesome. Some, this is some James Bond shit. Yeah, bro. Really good. I was so tempted, but... Um, Amma. Oh. Yeah, wow, because that you can go into countries like you know, Pakistan and so yeah, like yeah, yeah. medical evac out. I'm totally game for it. Totally game for it. Don't tell her lah. No, okay, no. Then I take flight, take passport, go. Then she be two days where you went. See, I went out with my friends lah. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with my friends. <laughs> where? <laughs> yeah, show passport. Ah, you, you went to India. Ma- Bangsa. <laughs> <laughs> See, little India. Little Not India. wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> wow, that is fascinating. Super cool. <laughs> so many things. Um, uh, remember I was saying about different areas of um. Um, uh, you can become a post basic ICU nurse. You can become an educator, like wound, just doing wound care. Wound. Yeah. Like you get cuts or you get um, like, like diabetic know, wounds, yeah. unhealing wounds. This guy wounds. say his wound is slowing. Yeah, I've been, got my, my wounds have been like slow to heal. You were saying that you did uh, have not done your medical checkup for some time. Yeah, isn't I it? should probably so be do. good. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, man. parents diabetic. No grandfather, but he drank a lot of stout. Mm. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I, I always thought it's like, is it an age thing? I feel like when I was like 20, early 20s, it's like damn fast on like two days. Yeah. But now I was like, like this little cut here on my wrist is like what, five days already? Six days? I'm like, what the f- is going on, man? Uh, yeah. Nutritional also. Oh, true. What, what? But I've been having salads though. Okay. Like, dude, the only time I didn't eat properly is like, I had a uh, buncha on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, and like rice and minced meat on Friday. That's it. Mm-hmm. The rest, it was all salads. Mm. 
It's weird, man. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe it's because too much salad, bro. <laughs> too much salad. Everything too in moderation. Yeah, too True. much of everything is not good. I, know, I guess. I've been like cutting down my carbohydrates as well. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Then that's that's a wide range of oh, yeah. careers. Like, you know. A lot of people don't think about this type of shit. Yeah. I swear to God, yeah, man, dude. I've honestly. never heard of people tell me I want to be a nurse. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's true as well. Right. It's just not sexy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, on, on, like, on the surface, right? As a college student who knows nothing about the industry, to say that I want to be a nurse, I think at 18, 19, you're just afraid of judgment, lah, right? Yeah. Right? You're afraid your peers will say, hey, you don't want to be a lawyer. I'm like, fuck, I feel stupid. Leh. I think it's also right. an Asian <laughs> thing because they feel like, huh? Nurse can earn how much? You know, it's like that thing. Hey. Oh, really? Definitely. I had a dad. Um, so, uh, uh, remember, as I said, um, uh, I was helping to interview nurses to do mm. uh, their sponsorship. So I had a dad. So we did the offer letter, the agreement, the student agreement, uh, uh, and all that. Then he comes and asks me, "Okay, so saya punya anak kerja berapa boleh dapat gaji?" So I said, "Lah, okay, this much, this much." Then he counted. No need. So he wanted to. He went. With, uh, I think he 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 sent it to Singapore. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Because he shame. didn't make up the the amount that he had in mind. Which is a shame. That's why a lot of good quality people are going to work outside. Yeah. Because uh, just same, same for every industry, lah. It's the same every. It's the same industry. as every industry, yeah. man. Yeah. Everybody just prefers to go to Singapore because it's a higher currency. Yeah. So technically, if you get two thousand five hundred there, yeah, you're, you're really earning ten day, ten k here, lah. Yeah. You know, more or less, lah. I mean, it's just sad, lah. I feel. Though I I always. This is my personal belief, la. I mean, we are trained nurses. Um, you know, I'm I'm sure there are some nurses that might not agree with me, but I guess we are trained to take care of our population. You know, our fathers, our mothers, our friends' fathers, our friends' mm-hmm. mothers, and then we go over to another country and take care of other people's fathers and mothers. You know, so I guess this True. for me it's a very personal opinion mm-hmm. that, hence why I've not travelled. You know, uh, or, or gone overseas. I I. I'm for here nursing la. For nursing, I'm here to you know take care of our yeah, our people. You know, I'm trained here to train our people. Despite you know, how the country itself treats you like shit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so mobile. it comes back to the passion again, la, You know. So. Yeah. I really want. Us. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you ever, when you were dealing with a patient, you say you go and find a Chinese nurse? Um, wow. The fact that you even pause is <laughs> fucked up, man. Mama, why is I Kong tampo tampo Hokkien? So. Patients are actually mm. quite okay because when I was in Namoi, uh, you know, um, uh, I I chia, uh, chuan kui, uh. you know, uh, that those kind. So when you start bridging that, patients are chill. Oh. Are cool. So they damn chill lah. Mm. No one like oh. Except when I start stammering my Hokkien because I haven't spoken Hokkien for so long. Uh, and then the patient looks at me and speaks English, and then that. Then you feel stupid. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the attempt is incredible, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. say, man, the attempt is is what is is insane. Yeah. People appreciate the the effort. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. But so do you ever get that? Do people ever say that? Like um, racist shit like that? It's understandable. I I don't. What? I, I I don't get. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> How is it understandable? I've not got that. Um, um, in a sense, because like I said, uh, I always try to bridge the yeah. gap, right? But you see, end of the day, what is the patient in for? For to be treated, lah. To be treated and to get better. So, I- if you're going into a bank and you know this teller is not g- managing your situation, and this teller would, mm. then wouldn't you just say, mm. okay, let me get someone else? Yeah, know? but I wouldn't say race, lah. I will like, I, hey, I don't want, uh, I don't talk to, uh, I want Chinese, what? Uh, wait, um. God, uh. No, I, I have not had. Oh, that. at that point you're like dying, right? You don't go like. Yeah, but if the yeah, you know? but if the patient can only speak Chinese then and a Chinese nurse is going to be essential uh, for that, that one, yeah, la, that yeah. one understand yeah. lah, you know. Uh, yeah, I, mm. that's what I was trying to say. But no, not not in that sense. Um, uh, I I want. Uh, have no. not not in not in particular lah. Uh, no, not in particular. All right, I guess. Yeah. In signs of trouble, they accept every, you know? Yeah, man. 100%, Probably. man. I actually, uh, I want to call this guy's name is Tash. He's this, uh, he's this <laughs> Indian dude yeah. who lost his leg in an accident. Mm. Like, brutal lah. His leg got ripped off. Like, lorry, just, oh. yeah, man. Yeah, insane shit. And he said, right, actually, uh, at times of need, right, there was a Chinese guy, there was an Indian guy, there was a Malay guy. They didn't even look at what race I was. They were just there to help me lah. Yeah. Yeah. True. Right? Yeah. I, true. I think when you really see how, like, Fucked up life can get. Yeah. 
I think you really ignore the race. It's just in times of whether you 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 think you deserve that whole thing, then you need that whole race card comes into play. Yeah. But when really she hits the fan, yeah. right? Yeah. People just ignore that. Yeah. Like if there's a bone sticking out of your leg, I highly doubt the guy's gonna look at you and be like, hey, I don't touch Chinese. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> where you such thing? I can smell the mala off of you, not touching you. <laughs> where you got such thing? Bro, you market puppy. And you eat pork, uh, I don't touch. You know where you got such thing? Oh, no. Right? It's, I think in, yeah. I think Malaysians of all people are quite understanding. Yeah. It's sad if that happens. Yeah. And it, you know, at death, especially when you said earlier when they die and then you respect the different cultures. Mm. I feel like our culture is one of the most sensitive cultures yeah. in the world. Yeah. Like if you go to America, people are less sensitive. They like wouldn't know what a Mexican would do. But over here, it's like, hey, if I'm not mistaken, Christian wedding, you all go here, here, here. Right? You have an idea. And what colour you should wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah colour, mm. you know, the ritual. Like yeah. if a house had a white colour tent and then there's a like, candle, like, oh, I think someone passed away. Yeah. Yeah. You are, we are really... Are like, yeah. And we don't even drive there. Even if you take the whole road, you're like, you know what? Uh, For this okay. one week, mm. I chill. Yeah, I take another road. Yeah, we're yeah. very understanding true, you know? compared true, to true. overseas, lah. Yeah. I feel like maybe it's just the multiracial true. thing. What's what's the weirdest nurse's experience you have ever had? Oh yeah, man. Did someone ever hit on you, ah? Uh? <laughs> ah yes, ah. Uh. Whoa, relax, <laughs> bro. Sugar one. That one huh? is not. I, that yeah. one is not crazy. Actually, I have a follow up <laughs> question, but you can answer this question first. Nah, what's the weirdest? <laughs> I mean, the hit on you. Maybe now I think the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah, so you don't need to answer that thing anymore, did la. <laughs> No, no. You see, when we take blood pressure. I hate that shit. <laughs> so usually the hand goes, no. so the nurse will be here, right? So yeah. what? The <laughs> so this elderly man, so the hand went to the waist and we're like, oh, okay, uncle. Oh, <laughs> oh, went oh my way. God. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean. It's always the old man. man. Yeah. They, they can get away with it. For Terrible. Me, you see, end of the day, uh, when you come into a hospital, you're not well. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, Judge. Are you serious? You are so... You, what, your heart made of gold, is it? What is this no, but you see, people who are not well are worse, isn't it? Okay, so if you're, if you're a patient and you're shouting, there, there must be a reason. There must be a reason for your outburst, right? Yeah. Maybe, uh, you know, you're, you're finding it difficulty uh, for the, with the medical bill. Your insurance card is, is Reject, not working. Uh, you know, your, your, your wife is managing your firstborn in the house. You know, your parents are, uh, you know, uh, away and you're alone. You are going through a lot already <coughs> as a patient. You know, you've got so many things going on already. So a good nurse would be able to really do look into that and, and help that person to heal. Your level of empathy, right, has reached levels, right? I have never like she oh my god, man. This is the shit that my dad would say if he's in a good mood. He's like, No, maybe the person is having a bad day, maybe whatever, whatever. I'm like, Dad, what the f whatever la. You know, and, and when I'm in a good mood, I say that too. I'm like, you know, my girlfriend gets mad at me. She's like, oh, look at that motherfucker. You're going to cut us off like that. I'm like, maybe he's rushing to the hospital. You know, see his mom. Yeah. You don't know, right? Yeah. So we true, have to be true, more true, understanding. True. I'm like, guilty of those two. Yeah. But when it comes to a patient, uh, I, I, it's a different hat. Yeah, it's a man. different hat altogether. I'm, I'm human. I, I see a person cut, you know, you and then go in front. I'm like, what? Did you just jump 10 cars ahead? Yeah. You know, you just jump one yeah. car ahead. Yeah. You know, I, I'm totally normal in that. Yeah. You know, in that. But, <laughs> I'm against that. So people cutting. Uh, you know, sometimes you wait at the road and then someone just. Yeah. Oh, brother. Yeah, man. Oh. Do you see if it's a female driver or male driver? I will stare at the <laughs> socket of their eyes. I've been. But now they tint the glass, so cannot yeah. do that. I yeah. will still stare. All the Hondas were tinted one. What? 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 What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> do you tint it? Do you tint it? Okay, that. then you're cool. Not, yeah. not that. Like All Hondas are tinted. No, it's. Those that are tinted are mostly Hondas. Not most Hondas are tinted. There's a distinction there. Okay. Fair, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even want to look at the driver. I feel like it only fuels stereotypes. Yeah. Because it's a numbers game, right? So technically, if I live in uh, Oakland Road and there are majority Chinese people, technically, I'll say fucking Chinese people don't want to drive. <laughs> and you know what I mean? So yeah. wherever I am, it shapes my, my stereotypes. So okay. for what? I'm just not going to look. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I just don't look. Yeah. I yeah. really, I, I, I always look, but then everyone are wankers, la. whether it's like male, female, there's regardless of race, idiots. age, everyone's just assholes. La. Yeah, they are just. There's, there's a percentage of assholes, la, right? <laughs> right. It's always going to be that. So. Yeah, wherever you go around the world, there are assholes. So it's just, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a math thing. But <laughs> back to the weird question. <laughs> okay. Um, so the guy hit on you, and you just put your arm around you, and you yeah, That's the worst, lah. Uh, no, la. I, I guess I'm oblivion to a certain point. Like I said, I, I, I don't. Uh, of course, you don't want to give numbers or mm. what that. 
Yeah. How, how actually, if you don't mind me asking, how did you meet your husband then? If you're so busy working, oh, was um, he a patient? Oh uh, no. Oh, okay. No 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 no. Uh, um, we met through a mutual friend. Oh. Ah, uh, so we met school? a mutual friend. God oh. bless him. Oh no no. Um. Uh, uh, this was like um, way back a few years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so a mutual m- friend and so and just. Yeah, oh. then it just transpired in him. Yeah. I thought it would be like a romance scene, you know, like, like patient. Like Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I thought it would be like, oh yeah, Grey's Anatomy <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on a date. Hey, you know, you saved my life. I bring you out for coffee. That type of shit, I don't know. La. <laughs> no, my so first exciting. one started off about smoking and vaping. Oh, oh, <laughs> and oh, oh, he goes oh, oh. like, uh, I said, do you know that, um, uh, you know, uh, every, uh, every cigarette, yeah. uh, you take about five to ten minutes to finish, yeah. takes five to ten minutes of your life. Okay. So you lose 10 to 20. Shock straight, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like that. And then uh, when we talk about um, how much we, we spend, right? So say uh, a, a box of cigarettes is about, what, uh, 17, 17 yeah. 18 ringgit. 18 ringgit, yeah. How did I know that? Okay. Um, <laughs> don't lie. I don't. <laughs> That's why one of my guy friends also was saying, oh, good lah, now your husband vape, now you know. Okay. So, um, 18 ringgit, right? Say, so, okay, so you... you Two boxes a day? Two packs. Two two pa- pa- no lah, two packs a day. Crazy. Two packs a week lah. Two packs, two a, packs week. a week. So that's 36 ringgit yeah. per week. So one month would be what? 120? 130? Yeah, yeah. So 130 la. times yeah. uh, 12? Yeah la. Then you 13, have thou- almost 1,500 so bucks lah. Yeah. More or less six, six K a year. Times over 10 years. Ah, six K a year? Yeah. I think so. Eh? 100 months, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So times 10 years. Yeah, I mean, you want to go on it, you can ah. say buy a BMW, lah, right? Yeah, okay. So then he looks at me and he goes, So do you have a BMW? Ah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing, man. I remember there was this a a meme. Kind. It's a there, meme. There is a PDF. There is a PDF, uh, Alan Moore's How to Quit Smoking. Oh, okay. Apparently, if you read this PDF, uh-huh. you, will, you will just not smoke. I've got to get that. I can send it to you if you want. It's a oh, PDF. Cool. Please do. Yeah. Let, but let's I, try. I sh- I've tried it, I've read it, I still smoke. So I don't know. It. But I, I heard it works. Oh, okay. Oh. There's this like rationale the writer puts in. And oh. he used to be a smoker as well. Ah. Quite interesting. Quit smoking now. How hard is it? But I mm. do know people who have gone just cold turkey. Yeah. Uh, my cousin, when he had his first angioplasty, uh, he had a stent in his arm. Mm. Uh, he just that cold one, turkey. You, when you have to go through surgery, I think that's a very big change mm. already. Uh, because some people say it's very hard because the addiction is there. Mm. But it was just cold turkey. Boom. I think it's Stops. an oral fixation more than an than a than an addiction. I swear to God. Like I bet if you got over your first two days of not smoking, you have like this minor headache. Mm. Actually, by right you can. It's just the whole social construct of having a cigarette with someone and bonding over that thing. Okay. It's just like I want to see it come out of my mouth. I just want to see smoke come out. Yeah, I thought one cow was break, uh, had broken down in front because the cow, the smoke was coming out on both no, sides. Va- uh, va- both were vaping. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a thing. I swear to God, I have no idea why. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere that Asian cultures actually embrace smoke a lot. It's kind of like this affinity because... I, I, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, okay? I, I read this. So I don't know, like, just because you read it online doesn't mean it's true, John. Whatever, <laughs> la, right? But I read is because if you look at Chinese people that burn the joysticks, yes. it's smoke, right? Yeah. If you look at Japan, they have a lot of things that are burning. You yeah. know, like, even the afterlife, you burn all that right, shit. Right, and right. smoke rises. Yeah, yeah. So when smoke rises, yeah. it looks as if like you're ascending to the heavens. It's like okay. opium. So smoking. that's why people smoke to relate to that. I think it's... it's yeah, you fast to go heaven <laughs> because your lungs spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the culture of like, they embrace it to go higher, that type of thing. So it's like an Asian thing. You, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment okay. section or you can just uh, check it out. But I read it somewhere. And then in Japan, right, if you go to the temples, okay. you will literally see people do this. When it's like the thing is burning, right? Yeah. You will like do this. You like... Collect the smoke to his body because okay. it makes it feel like he's ascending. It's weird, lah, dude. And knowing full well, right, you're living in the 21st century, right? right. And there are medical documents that say smoke harms your lungs. People still like, yeah. <laughs> it's just a it's a weird time we live in, man. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, hard to relate, but yeah. I, I was going to ask you a, a question right after that, which was, um, what is the most hardcore patient you've seen enter the the emergency ward? Like the most graphic thing or Shit, intense bro. thing you've ever seen. Uh, you mean uh, in terms of what kind of case or uh, uh, gore uh, gore gore type of uh, I don't know like either bloody or I don't know an arm or something missing or whatever a whole no body. Eyes, 
<laughs> Amaterasu. Ooh. Or like a guy shoves something up his okay. ass. And so in my mind, I'm just shifting through pictures. <laughs> okay, okay, which you want to relate to. Uh, um, the most intense one. Uh, oh. I'm just curious because a lot of people have these odd stories. And I've, uh, I think I've watched a few videos of how like, oh, nurses would say, no, I found a guy, right? With a light bulb uh, up his, his ass. asshole, you know. Mm. And he haven't cracked yet, you know. So when they do a, a, s- mm. a scan, right? It looks like his asshole is an idea like that, you know. So like, what the <laughs> fuck are you watching on the internet, John? <laughs> wow, how do you get that out, man? Yeah, and how is the light bulb not that in? <laughs> how we got that in? <laughs> Dude, your ass is small, bro. A light bulb is pretty damn big, all right? Unless like, you've been Good doing a black guy. Yeah. Good quality light bulb. Light me up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so are there any <laughs> cases like you've seen something <laughs> like that? It's so weird, bro. I don't even know why. I've heard of like a girl. Okay, this is a bit graphic. But a girl was giving a blowjob to a guy and then like the piercing <laughs> got stuck on his dick. <laughs> And then they like <laughs> call the ambulance to come there and then they're like, oh shit. <laughs> I would still rather be in that position than a light bulb. On yeah, my definitely for sure. Yeah. Definitely. But that's picking your poison. Uh, Imagine having both at the same time. Oh, oh my Lord. <laughs> so like, are there any cases in which you've seen something Damn like, weird, bro. like that? Oh, very odd. Mm. Or so is Chila, it just- Malaysia? No. Uh, I, like I said, it, it, okay. It happens and then it's just like, okay, you know, I, I, I it's not like we sit back in the cafeteria and we say, oh, did you see the light bulb? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you wouldn't? I would. I would have seen. That's why we're not goddamn scene. nurses. <laughs> I would have made the Because s- as nurses, um, we are, uh, are bound to that, that, Agreement that, where that you duty cannot, of yeah. confidentiality, you know, uh, unless it's using for educational purposes. <laughs> Maybe, you know. F- oh, you're not even allowed to say it, technically. If yeah, I, we're not allowed to say like, uh, you Can know. Can you tell me after the podcast? Sorry? Can you tell me after we stop recording? No. Like what the case is, the no. weirdest case? <laughs> you cannot That's say why my mom also always complains because even if sh- it was a relative in the hospital, she would never know. Oh. Yeah, because um, imagine if, if, if... Okay, I always give this example to everyone. Uh, especially when she says, you know, no, but you should have told me one. You know, uh, say, say it was my uh, uncle or someone that was admitted. She would never know because I, I, I wouldn't divulge that information even though I took care of the person, I wouldn't divulge. And that's what is important in, in terms of confidentiality and nursing. Um, but I always give this example. Um, uh, say uh, you get admitted, mm-hmm. Tachuna, say you get admitted, and no it's problem. Uh, because <laughs> of hemorrhoids. She, oh my Lord. And then yeah. you go like, hey, you know, your brother's admitted for hemorrhoids. I mean, how would you, it's your... You know what he would say? Fucker, of course, uh, this is John sitting in the toilet whole day, <laughs> damn day, that's why lah. <laughs> but reading his yeah, comic it's books like your sense of privacy has been violated I without see. your consent yeah, you don't like that yeah. so uh. that's why you know um, in, in that kind of situation situation so those things don't sensitive. really stay inside uh, you know in, in terms of my but uh, when I was saying I was flipping through I, I mean I've seen quite gore yeah. gore oh, kinds shit, of um, bro. Um, uh, murder cases um Wow, they. Uh, I, I mean, you cannot say it's fine. I imagine in your head, right? It's like my photo reel, right? You just. Yeah, I'm just looking at a lot of pictures. Um, there have been, yeah, there have been some that have been quite. Um, uh, but it. Uh, I oh mean, my Lord. it's okay. it's bad in a sense. Okay, so this this is a. Uh, 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 a, a lorry driver. Oh, you. And what happened was, you know, you know, you have, you know, you ring. And as he was getting down from his uh, truck, ah, stop! Uh, what happened was that he's um, he got, it, caught. got caught. It got caught. You know, there's the sick that there is this. You know, the door of the, you know, when they get down from the lorry, mm-hmm. yeah. it's a hinge. Isn't ah, it? the hinge. Yeah, it got caught. Then he ripped off his. Finger yeah, so la. the finger with the attachments with the atten- uh, tendons and all that. Eey. Yeah, ha. Ha. yeah. <laughs> so that you know, but. I really respect this man because um <gasps> wait, uh, wait 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 <laughs> Oh my lord. So his <sighs> So the ring finger came off and all the tendons all attached also. Yeah, all it, it was a it was yeah. And um, I don't even want to wear a ring now, dude. <laughs> oh no, man. That happened, you're not a lorry driver. <laughs> oh. I am not wearing a ring. You're not a lorry driver. Uh, but no, this, I mean these are accidents, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, <laughs> uh, um, but what breathe. was um, he he came like he came uh, uh he and he brought the the finger along and he damn chill he just uh, uh, he, he came he came like this he he covered his hand and he came like this okay, and choice. I was like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what happened then he showed then I was like okay tapa tutu balik because you see as an ICU nurse everyone comes very clean and nice you know because the patients are all you know ICU most of the uh, surgery were not done emergency is bare facts you know yeah. you, you see them so as an ICU nurse when i became an ini manager it was it was new to me uh, my first case uh, that i saw was this um you know this uh, little this child uh, the uh, mom had accidentally closed the door I on his on his finger i don't know this so you know Ah, uh, so the the mother was there. So we we're trying to see whether we can reattach, lah. You know? Oh, we came off, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, so his little finger. So the mum showed, lah. So the minute I opened that, I saw the little finger. Then I saw the nail. Then I went, oh my god, I was going dizzy. Then I turned around. I see the mother more dizzy. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 it was my first am- uh, first time seeing an amputation, as in because, like I said, in ICU we don't see that. You know, yeah. in ICU we would see like a gunshot victim. We would see the bullet. Yeah, in the specimen bottle. Yeah, because yeah. um, it's already post, right? You yeah. just drag out. So you see, ah, uh, so you see that. Uh, but in any, it's you see before, you know, like a club fight, you know, and then the person used a knife and he got stabbed. Stabbed, you know, uh, like um, uh, there was a story of father and son, and then the father when he intervened when the son got this one, and then the father got killed, you know, and the son came to us. It was very, uh, very deep, you know. It was like this. You can really, yeah, those kind of. Things I've seen, but uh, uh, yeah. Maybe you should have got this stabbed. stabbed uh. But the minute that finger nail, when I saw that nail, the finger was okay and it was not so bad. But the minute I saw the nail, I went, "Oh Wait, boy!" His nail <laughs> came I, out. I couldn't take it. I couldn't, his nail came out, is it? Uh, oh, no, ma. Small chubby son. Yeah, small part. That's that canal. Ah, yeah. You cannot really touch that shit, right? No, too small. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, but back this other guy. What the lorry driver again? Uh, wait, his tendon all yeah. all this shit all came out. If you're a smoker, then there's a bit more concern in doing reattachments. Oh, is it? Yeah, because of the blood vessels and you know, yeah. How you reattach a wait, finger uh, back? Why, why? Oh, there's a lot of reattachment uh, interesting stories, no? No, like stop. If yeah, I'm I'm getting weak. Mom's patties, knees weak. Mom's spaghetti. <sighs> I don't know what he's saying. Don't don't he's not M- even talking in the mic. Eminem, Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> he knows what but I'm you, saying. Why is it difficult to reattach? Uh, uh, you know, because you're, you're doing um, uh, you're doing uh, nerve to nerve, mm. artery to artery, mm. vein to, to vein. To regain functionality, to regain right? Function, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of criteria also in order to do uh, reattachment, and mm. the surgeries are not like one two hours. You know, it's you eight hours, ten right? hours, sixteen At hours of reattachment. Yeah. Super crazy, you know. So and this and there are specialized doctors who do that. They are hand microsurgeons, yeah. So, wow. yeah, but this guy was very cool, very cool. I had another guy who came in. I really, res- I really remember him because I really respected his. Um, he he had um, he had uh, an exposed uh, the elbow was exposed. Uh, he oh, had an accident. And the meat is off, lah. Uh. Yeah. So when he when he was saying, then uh, as I was trying, he said, uh, "Wait, I'm HIV positive. Please wear gloves." Wow. I really respected him. What a know. lad. Yeah. I I was like, thank you for telling me. You know, thank you so much for res- you know respecting my safety. You know, so I told him, "Thank you so much, sir." You know, and then we had to. But uh, after that, uh, I think he had to be transferred out uh, for that surgery. Mm. What. The fuck! I'm yeah, more concerned like of how he exposed his elbow. Some surge. Uh, I can't remember exactly. That's an accident. Yeah. It's always an accident. I mean, so like but usually <laughs> when they take off their hand, they show me. I tell them put them back. <laughs> yeah. You have to apply pressure back again. Yeah. And no, 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 no. Because I don't see. Oh, so because I you don't see. Energy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak, Eddie. My God. Yeah, but I we do see. We do see. So, you see, with like I'm always like I mentioned about the environment the nurses go yeah. through you see uh, and that's why it's important not to desensitize if you don't lose if you lose that sensitivity of things right. then you cannot care and then when you cannot care you cannot reach that patient yeah. you know uh. sorry I, I'm, I have a phone call uh, give me one minute I don't know my girlfriend never calls me the dog I mean she, Maybe she, it's the she dog. does call so me might be but like, you know, she, give me a minute she's she taking care of the dog always answer phone phone calls yeah. Okay, back to the tendon dude. <laughs> bro, 
Oh, that was how does it how does it look like? Uh? So yeah, finger, what color? Comes out and the finger is attached to a oh, string of yeah. so, whatever that is. And then it? yeah, so then I then I look and then I had to wrap it up and uh, do the necessary to to preserve to preserve yeah. it, right? Yeah. Then I'm trying to get referrals, you know, because we have to refer to another hospital sure. for attachment and whatnot. Then the guy is asking me, so how is it? Is it like this? And I'm like, oh boy, okay. But by then I had got over the, you know, because now you're trying to think you need to help this person. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to focus on what's important. Mm. Was he panicking? <sighs> yes, okay. I think I was more. <laughs> 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 this guy is a champ, man. Yeah. I'd be panicking. Well, what's yeah. what's the context, sorry? Is the, the finger. Oh, the, the finger yeah. one. Yeah. I think maybe in the beginning you go through a bit of a shock, but then after that you realise you got to get your finger back. And you have a you have a window, right? You can't wait for too long. Mm. You have to ice it and then you have to, yeah. you have to bring it yeah. ASAP. Yeah. Ice L- box. Literally, you can, uh, if, you have, um, if you have gauze with you, then you just wrap it. Yeah. And then uh, you put it into a plastic, and then you put it into ice. Don't uh, don't have mix the blood with the ice. Uh, don't put ice directly on the contact of uh, the, the amputated limb. Yeah, it's or the digit. Uh, you are, I don't even. Yeah, it really takes a lot, man, to to be in the medical field. I swear, man, it's <laughs> not not just nurses, like doctors, and everybody. Even yes. actually, to be fair, even if you're working in a hospital as a janitor, I feel like every day you see like blood everywhere. You're like, oh man. Just another day. <laughs> they, are very, they are very important people. The the housekeepers. You're right to keep the hygiene really, on point. They are really, really important people. It's a whole system. I mm. feel in the hospital that actually like we don't really see because we don't really go to a hospital until we really need to go to a hospital. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we really do take it for granted for sure. I I'm so sorry. I think I have to end. But you want you want more, one more question? I, I want to say I I I. I've been to the hospital a few times. <laughs> I can, I, yeah, <laughs> I was there. Personally. The nurses yeah, are yeah. actually pretty fun. There was yeah. one time uh, because I had to go back for my nose. Uh. Okay. So I can I couldn't sleep for like five days straight because can't breathe. How the fuck am I going to breathe my mouth after five minutes? I oh, <laughs> breathe this, yeah. You know? yeah. Mm. So midnight the nurse will come on me. They will feed me some bread because I cannot eat. Okay. So they will chop for me. They feed all serious. Very nice Malay nurses. Wow. I yeah. love them so much. Then because we you had broken jaws because so? I I broke my nose. Right. So I couldn't breathe. And then the doctor said I cannot eat also. Mm. I don't know why. Apparently I cannot eat. Okay. Because I, could, I couldn't chew. All right. Probably some multi- some, some facial fractures. Lah. Probably. So they cut top for me then they oh. make it so easy for me. Yeah. Then I just sit down. Of course I make them laugh because I'm just a funny person in general. Nice. I like how he's... Yeah. Chandler. <laughs> in general. So for the four, five days, midnight, we would just sit down and talk. Then they will complain to me about their boyfriend. Then I say, "Tu sebab lah, you know." Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, they, will, they will complain. Then I say, "You tak faham? You tak tahu kita laki macam ni?" Then they will like, "You you diam lah." Then I say, "Kau jangan lah." So she and I know we watch TV. Yeah. Them nice nurses. Yes, you know, yes, I, yes. Oh yes. Nurses yeah. has been kinder to me rather than doctors. Yeah, actually, it's true. I feel like doctors have this ego thing. Okay. Some la, some la. Uh, the nurses are so fun. I love them. There's, I have good. Uh, impression oh, on nurses so, yeah, okay. so far. Actually, it's true, right? Yeah. You never really, I, I, at least personally for me, right? I've never really like had a bad experience with the nurse. I feel like they're more patient. They're very like yeah. understanding. Mm-hmm. I feel like a doctor, not so much. This is quite 50-50. That sometimes they just walk away. Sometimes they're just really busy. So I understand it. I'm like, whatever, lah, right? Yeah. I think a nurse would always stop to hear what you had to say. Yeah. That's why I've, my experience. At least you'll say, hold it's on. True, ah, bro. It's wait, true. Ah, ah, you know? Very patient. Uh. You just like, ka, swing out, two fellow will come <laughs> oh done. Yeah, if they're bro. busy, they will just be very patient with you, I think. Yeah. No matter so you what. can imagine with the, with, I mean, we do have a nursing sh- shortage, you know, in Malaysia, mm. we do have that. So imagine with the environment, with the the patient's needs uh, and, and getting everything to get. So you can imagine how much how this hectic, nurse, yeah. you know, is yeah. literally running. Uh, there's a lot of pictures of nurses uh, that, uh, you can see, you know, the nurse will have like a, you know, a urine bag and, you know, uh, mm. uh, you know, literally to say the person doesn't, uh, uh, you know, go to the bathroom when, yeah, when we need to manage cases. Uh, I mean, I have worked straight. I've done afternoon and then night shift. That means I worked um, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then I did the oh, night shift. The 9 uh, to 7. 9 to sev- uh, the 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., you know. Of course, I could eat three Ramli burgers after that. That's <laughs> the <third laughs> <by> the <way. laughs> Who wouldn't, man, <laughs> after that day? Mm. I was so hungry, man. <laughs> but yeah, so you can imagine. Uh, so with that 2005, with this amount, you know, so... Mm. And the hours and, and the hours, so, but 
But if you're really interested in doing um, a, a, a profession that is easy for me, for you to invite me, you, yeah. you see that as such a noble profession, then if this is your calling, then, you know, sometimes it's not your calling. You just join the profession and then you find it. Yep. That's yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. uh, your calling. It's a self. Yeah. My group of 32 uh, nurses, my group, when we did our nursing together, only two of them said it was their calling. The rest of us was like, what to do after SP- SPM? Mm. Yeah, I couldn't do medicine, so I thought this was another route. So one of my god brothers said, "Why don't you try this?" Yeah, that's how I got into it. Yeah, but uh, for others, it's just like okay, um, cannot get STPM placement, or you cannot get metrics. Mm. You know, you cannot. Ah, okay. What yeah. else can you do? Nursing. nursing. But when you join nursing and then you see what you can do, then you have to, you know, uh, bring out the profession. But you know, it's weird because when I do see the few nurses that I know of. Or even doctors, right? They, I when I see on Instagram and shit, I feel like the community within the nursing thing is a very strong community. Mm. Like you don't see like other industries where they are like ha ah, and they're fun, fun and all that. I always see nurses that are the more fun bunch. Although you are put under immense stress and see yeah. blood everywhere every day, yeah. you don't see doctors going like, "Oi, bro, you see my doctor Lim together with me." You know, you don't, never see this shit. Man. But you see the nurses that are more chill and happy. Maybe, right? maybe you will see before they go the <laughs> doctor stuff like, right? right I think it's, no. I think when you go to the hospitals as well, you always see nurses having like chitter chatter when right. it's a good day, like, It's not yeah. like havoc, like, Right? Yeah. It was like, and then you have to run. They're all like all chill, right? But you never see doctors like that. They are always like just looking at. Or they're just outside there. I don't know lah. Y'all the real MVP, man. Y'all should get paid more. I still don't understand why it's so low. Yeah. I think a lot right. of professions deserve a but lot more love. But nursing is very, very hierarchical. Yeah. Very hierarchical. So it's you very traditional. Oh. We have yeah. to break from that tradition. Yeah. Then we will become more advocative. For sure. I, I, that's why I, one the other the other reason why I come I came out as a freelance trainer is to advocate for nursing. Mm. You know, you have to stand up on your own platform, and, and if you don't, uh, if you don't push yourself or you don't uh, say no, I'm a nurse, and uh, yep. instead of just saying uh, I don't know, I'm just a nurse. Yeah, man, I swear, man. <laughs> yeah, it only it makes it worse, right? Then yeah. for c- fucking another generation, people are gonna be like that. Yeah. Yeah, man. So true. It's so very true. hierarchical. When I started in nursing, the main thing that was always told to me: don't question a doctor. Yeah, I'm man. That sounds you can like suggest. Such a, mm. yeah, you man. can recommend. Or you can ask or inquire. But you have to respect but and yeah, all questions. Yeah. So it's very hierarchical that is you know, pushed in into it. you, which should not. And I guess where uh, it would not be is when uh, the foundation of the person grows up and then becomes their profession. Yeah. Uh, it's just like Starbucks. You, know? you join Starbucks. You, you join because of your personality. Really? Yeah, because you go in your... Uh, oh, your front facing. Yeah, you know, you, you yeah. If you're the kind of person that is going to always be at the... Uh, at you the know, back. so when they interview, you're looking at those kind of traits. Yeah, I see, uh, I see, I you see. You know, uh, whereas nurses, you don't... <laughs> you, you, you go into the profession first, then yeah. you have to become a frontliner. Mm. So, that's, so that's why the foundation of the person is very important. So as they grow into nursing, then they use that. So you're able to be more advocative you be more Vocal. able to question yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and say, doctor, you know, uh, yeah, but could we do this also? Uh, I used to train ICU nurses and I will tell them, you know, when the doctor says, okay, let's do this. Uh, okay, you know, could we also look at this? So I think, doctor, can we do this test and this test? Also, uh, you know, nurses can. I think th- I think we can. times are changing for sure. Yeah, I, uh, I think times are changing for sure. Our generation is more vocal and having discussions. I think in the past, <laughs> yes, I would totally agree. There is right. this like, I'm the boss. You listen to what I have to say. Yes. And it's the same across all the board, like even in banking, mm. in the hotel industry. But nowadays, it's more of a conversation. A lot of people are like, bro, don't like that, bro. Then yeah. people are more chill and then you just listen to each other. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's going the right I, way. I really hope so. Because uh, nursing is very, very traditional. Very, yeah. um, we uh, seniors, we have still those words of seniors and juniors, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah true. Yeah. yeah. So as long as we have that, that is a there is a line demarcation of mm. you know God damn uh, it. so that should merge you know so uh, I work with a with a nurse with uh, say one year experience is mm-hmm. how I I I, I can uh, assist her to grow because I was there one day yeah yeah at but, that time yeah. yeah but when the nurses reach a certain level of experience yeah you're why the junior like that why you cannot do da, 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 you know but actually yeah that's actually a lot of a lot of people do that. <laughs> yeah. They compare with the new generation you forget that you were there one day you know yeah, that time did. you know. When I had an ex-lecturer as my uh, patient, uh, not patient, sorry, 
no, my ex, I met my ex lecturer who brought in her colleague. Uh. So I met. Then she said, "Oh, Sunita, you know, I was a manager at the time. Oh, very good, you know, manager." And then I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." No. Then she said, "So how?" And I said, "I said I miss so and so." I said, "Ayo, the nurses these days, ah, uh, <laughs> you know, but we need to." Da, da, da. She looked at me. You That's would. why we said like that. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we used to say about you guys. I said, okay, and that that clicked. Oh, uh, that that's why you are like no la, We should be, we, the older generation have the responsibility of yeah. But they helping. have that standstill, you know, because you see a lot of senior nurses stay, you know, fifty Long. years old, fifty five years old. So it's very uh, they hold it. So when the junior nurses are trying, like you say, this generation they are trying. Uh, a lot of things are posted on social media, and I always comment to the nurses: careful what you say, careful what pictures you take. Because if you put pictures, then you can see certain data of a patient. Or oh, the ward and that whatever. That is well. actually you can be sued for that. Jeez. So you have to be very careful about patient privacy and confidentiality. No wonder lah, they are always in a storeroom or something. I always see all in some story of nurses all in like a storeroom or some Danger. shit. Yeah, <laughs> selfies all in a staircase oh. there. Yeah, so Makes you must sense. be very wary of this. Uh, but they do put posting like you know, ayo today shift malam ni ayo bapa orang zaman you know things like that. You have to be very careful. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, there must be a proper outlet if you're having these kind of issues. There must be a proper way, and people in management have to address it. Yeah. But because of tradition and hierarchy, sometimes they just say, "Oh, I've been through it. So go through it also." It's hard to move people from that generation as well. Yeah. It's it, they already. Quite set in stone, right? So you only what you can do is learn from that and hopefully yeah. make the next one better. Hence I think a lot of us now are in that transition generation. I swear. Hence we why are we are still at two thousand five. Yes, tragic. I got I got to wrap it up because we actually okay. have dinner at seven thirty, cool. and like I totally forgot about the time. It was no, you know it's almost three hours. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. we were talking I for three hours. Warned you. I warned. <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> is so tired since we we're waiting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. My mom is my fan club, no worry. Okay. She comes to badminton meets, so she sits there and she Ayo, cheers me up. Okay. <laughs> and you go for taekwondo meet, she'll be there. Pukol dia, pukol dia, pukol dia. Maybe um we wrap it up with sure. uh with uh any last bits of advice for people who want to go into the maybe not maybe not just the nursing industry but like the healthcare industry like being a doctor or whatever. Yeah. Any any advice? Any last bits of info? Okay. Um. Words uh, of wisdom, yeah. I think yeah words of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, healthcare is uh, a different industry altogether. Mm. So you're meeting people who come there for a reason. So treat the reason. Yeah, look for um, how you can help that person through whatever that they are facing, mm. rather than um, uh, stereotyping or rather than judging them. You know. Uh, care for them, for them to heal and go home as fast as possible, rather than uh, you know uh, judge them in a way like oh why the person went and did this oh he shouldn't have drunk that's why he met an accident no don't do that yeah so it's very important uh, to help that person trans- you know get better that should be the objective now if you're looking into doing nursing yeah it is something that is phenomenal it, it is a different world you. You have a very different sense of purpose, uh, and you have a, a, a lasting um, impression in people's lives, and you that's made a true, difference. That's true. That's true. Yeah, uh, I remember I had um, a postnatal mother, and till date, till date, because when she uh, her, her daughter had a hole in her heart, and oh. when uh, she came, I said, "Don't worry, and you know it will get better and whatnot." Until date, whenever she sees me and she says, and she shows her daughter who's like, "I don't know how old already," and she goes <laughs> like, "This is the nurse who said, you know, um, um, no, no need to worry." She gave me that support and she gave me that uh, faith that whatever it is, you know, things will get better. Um, and uh, till date, you know, she remembers that, and that's that's that's. You know, you don't get that anywhere That's else. That's true. You know? That's true. It's so, change. Yeah. So, uh, if there are parents listening, or look at nursing in a different uh, perspective, uh, look at nursing as a, a totally different p- profession uh, that gives much more uh, and learning uh, people in a totally different manner. I think for uh, when you came on the podcast, you've definitely painted yeah. a, a better yeah. picture, for oh. sure. I feel <laughs> like there's always this like different perspective we don't know. And after the podcast, definitely, I think, <coughs> yeah. uh, if people have listened all the way into three hours, which I'm pretty sure there are people who do, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would 
see okay. in a different Respect. light for sure. That's great. To Thank hear. you so much for spending your Thank your you week. Thank you so much. much. Do you watch so anime? Oh, Stop it, boy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> bro, don't, bro. My she don't know. She don't, in, she don't know it's AOT, bro. Don't lie. Like, they, they, no, no, no. <laughs> well, I thank believe you. life organs. Life. <laughs> life. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you so me. much mm. for having me. Yeah, John, if you're listening, Andrew? thank you so much. Boy, Sarah. Uh, Sarah, John. <laughs> and Chan. <laughs> and Chan. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay.